All right, let's see if all of the streams turn on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. It looks like they are all on. It looks like they all turned on. Look at me. Look at me doing technology. I feel I feel like a Giga Chad. I feel like a Giga Chad. Giga Alpha Megalodonis. Chadlius Michaelis Maximus. Yeah, how crazy is that? It's Wednesday. Yo. It's hump day. We're in the middle of the week. We're in the middle of the week. In the middle of the week. Yeah, hashtag science. Is that where you're going? That's where you're going with it, huh? That's how he's feeling. That's how he's feeling. Oh, I signed up. Oh, oh. I'm feeling good. I got a little glass of water over here. You know, I'm just kind of chilling. Big chilling. Big chilling Nate style. You know, I finally did something nice for myself that was perhaps a little overdue. I got to turn off. I actually have a separate break screen kind of thing set up for the vertical uh, stream. So I just block it. I just block that with like a playlist of my vertical highlights. But I finally, I finally set up <laughs> a phone charger that actually just reaches to my desk. Crazy. I just cleaned up the power setup over there. I did something that I've more or less been putting off that really I didn't have any reason to put off. I should have just done it. Like uh, Shia LaBeouf says, you know, just do it. Make your, make your memes come true. But it's good to see you, Jasmine. I just turned it on. I just turned it on today. So I, there may not be anybody else here yet. It's good to see you though. I just, I did not do the long, um, I did not go for the, the long, what's it called? Starting soon screen. Normally my starting soon screen averages like eight to 12 minutes, but today I'm here talking. I was here at like the three minute mark. I'm killing it today. Okay, I was, I'm showing up. I'm showing up today. That's what I'm doing. In the games, will I be showing up? Will I be like playing well and winning? <laughs> no. Just kidding. We'll see. Who knows, right? We'll see. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Hey, Lord Callion. Fear not, for I'm here. There you go. See, you're not alone. You're not alone. I pressed the find match button and then I immediately found a match. So I am also not alone. It's good. It's good stuff. I mean, if you really think about it, this this is the stuff you want. This is what you want and this is what you want to hear. And you know what? The other great thing is that my settings did not reset after yesterday. So we had a little bit. It was a little bit funky yesterday. And then I was like, bro, come on, man. And that, of course, every and as you guys know, as a man, if you say, come on, man, to another guy, like, they kind of have to take a step back and go, hmm, I need to check myself. Like, that's that's kind of what you're going, going for when you say that to somebody. So naturally, I would just do that. And then the, the problem would <laughs> resolve itself. I'm a real genius. You knew that, though. You already knew that. But yeah, I don't know how you guys are doing. Uh, Katie and I started re-watching. We've been re-watching Modern Family. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. But we just restarted from Season 1, Episode 1. I just took us all the way back. So we've been, we've been re-watching that. Below Deck has been pretty disappointing. Below Deck has been pretty disappointing. Um, but Ka Katie and I went to, oh, two probes? Katie, Katie and I went to um, 
A really nice Mexican restaurant. You know what? I, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Uh, Katie and I went to a really nice Mexican restaurant yesterday. <laughs> that, that's why we don't play a ranked game until we get a win. That way, that way we can shake off as much rust as we need. But Katie and I went out, and normally, normally what we like to get from this place is like we like to split a fajita. That's usually about like twenty three dollars, but. Obviously, that's crazy expensive, but it comes with the full works. It comes with beans, salad, gu guacamole, um, rice, everything. Like, literally, what you, everything you can want. And tortillas, you know? But normally, we would just split that. We wouldn't eat anything else because they give you free chips and salsa um, at this place. But we we wanted to, like, you know, take it even a little bit more low-key than that because we weren't, we weren't, a, it was a, a different chain. It's, like, a local chain. There's only, like, four of them or something like that. So we just decided, okay, we were going to hit that up. Anyway, long story short, I remembered that their regular menu had the a la carte tacos at three seventy five dollars each. And I remember it being a pretty generous taco. So I was thinking to myself, well, instead of splitting this, you know, we could each get like two tacos and then we're only paying like $14 for dinner. Um, but then we placed our order and what I discovered was that they actually do have a Taco Tuesday deal. They have a Taco Tuesday deal. It's only a buck 75 and we're talking a big taco. We're like, like, yay long, yay, yay tall and just cheese and lettuce like pouring, falling out of it. Like we're talking a very generously portioned dollar fifty, a uh, dollar seventy five taco. Um, the beef uh, was ground beef. It was as you would expect, pretty standard. But you know what I will say, I actually did like the um, the chicken one was really good. The chicken one was really good, and that was still a dollar seventy five. It did, I didn't have to pay more for the chicken one, so that was just like pulled shredded chicken. But it was really good. So, I had one of each of those. I did forget to specify that I wanted a soft uh, flour tortilla, and I, I ended up getting a hard corn tortilla. But you know, I'm not I'm not a little biatch, so I I just dealt with it. I I like those. It's not no, it's not what I would order. It's true. It's true. Would I ever deliberately order a hard shell taco? I I wouldn't. But would I not eat it? Like, am I a child? Like, could I, could I handle myself in that situation? Did I have to make a big stink about it? Absolutely not. So I just ate the hard taco. It was pretty good. Even, even though I didn't get the type of taco I wanted, I actually still really enjoyed it. And the first thing I told Katie was, hey, we got to come, we got to just start coming back here every Tuesday. I didn't even realize these guys had a Taco Tuesday deal because the other location that we normally went to didn't really do any deals. So... It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So we did that last night. We did that last night. We went for a walk in Old Town. And uh, it was really chill. It was really chill. Yeah, Taco, Taco Tuesday turned into an absolute banger. Taco Tuesday turned into an absolute banger. We were very happy. Very, very, very happy. Nothing to, nothing to complain about at all. Nothing. Make me escape and hold me now. It's not today. All respectable taco places have Taco Tuesdays. Yeah, well, it's kind of tough. All right, so they ended up... So the buffet at the casino never reopened after COVID. But they opened up a Mexican restaurant that was like a local family chain, basically, in this place. And then we went to the casino specifically to get uh, to go see. We like these people. I don't know. It's just like good vibes, right? It's a great energy. There's a reason we love this restaurant. So I digress. So we go there the other night and we find out that they're like remodeling the casino and the restaurant isn't there. And we don't know if it's coming back. We don't really like know what's going on at all, more or less. So I'm just like, okay, well, let's go to the other one that's in town that we know of. So that's where we went. And then one of the guys there that served us was actually one of the guys that served us at the other location. So that's where I was just like, oh, Katie, see, this is actually really cool because 
You know, at least at least we know that those people are still around because we go to that place a lot. We're kind of friends with a bunch of the the people that work there. To some, maybe maybe friends is probably a little little too clingy of a of a word for that, but you kind of know what I mean, right? We're regulars. We like seeing them. We couldn't see them. We went to the other place. We saw some of them. As you can imagine, that's about as happy of an ending as you really get. It's about as happy of an ending as you get in a situation like this. Man, everybody going for the... Uh, everybody going for the, the Phoenix. It's been very popular. The airplay, the big air. So many people. So many people just rushing air units. I mean, what do you think? Is he just gonna be hitting me up with like a mass? Uh, do you think this is just gonna be like a mass Hellbat thing? Mass sell it? What a weird, bizarre game. Did Nathanius Thor rush himself? Yeah, bro. What does Naruto, what does Naruto always say? Believe it, dude. He says, he says, he says bro, leave it. But no, this game's absolutely foobar. Yeah, look at that. Well, you see, that's why I didn't want to make a bunch of siege tanks, because I figured it would be zealots. That's normal. It's a pretty typical, res pretty typical response in this situation to go zealots. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that there's anything about that that surprises me or catch, catches me off guard rather. Oh, of course my depot is down for half a second and that's when he comes rip rip and Alfredo sauce boys and girls. Ah, see that's tough man. That's tough. That's what I'm talking about. That's what, that's what I got to deal with. That's what you got to deal with. This guy's just getting all up in my grill getting all up in my grill all game. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm like, how many Thors would I even need for it to matter? <laughs> is it po is it even possible that I accomplish anything in this situation? <laughs> I caramba, it's not a good it's not a good spot. I I'm nervous, but on the surface I'm calm and ready. No, no, I'm not. I'm not anything, man. It's all bad. It's bad news, bears. It's bad news the whole way down, man. From here to Sugar Town. You think he's already going into like carriers or broodlords or something? Cause see, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, I don't, I don't do hellbats very often, so. We just try to force the Thor, the Thor Liberator comp. Just try and force that for whatever reason. I don't know that it's gonna go anywhere, but it feels like, it feels like if I could make that work, then things would be okay. Look at that. See, like he's getting widow mind. He's getting widow mind. 
I'm having a blast right now. I'm having a blast right now. I'm literally, I'm literally having a blast right now. Somebody follow the stream. Oh my gosh! Wow, you're incredibly handsome, aren't you? Thank you. Oh, see, look, he wants money. He wants money. About to get margin called, son. Oh my god, it's just way too much. Your base is under siege. Way too much. GG. Let's go next. All right, we got a game. No, TVP is tough, man. TVP is tough. It's the hardest matchup. It's the hardest matchup. Pin this replay oh! The wall. That guy just insta-left against me. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No, no, no doubt. Bounce, ka bow wow Okay, we got our first win, Keepo. He didn't have, what does Thanos always say? You gotta have like, something about the strongest, the strongest decisions require the, or the most difficult decisions require the strongest willpowers or something of that accord. Something, something of that sort. They got scared. Yeah, he wasn't having a good time anymore. All right, we got a game. We got a game. It's another Protoss player. No, at some point, at some point, the ladder got completely eaten up by the Protoss, man. They, they're not good in tournaments, or they weren't anyway. But on the ladder, they just got so many crazy all-ins. It's tough. It's tough to prepare for any of them. If they do it right, the setup for like Mass Zealot or Mass Stalker, it's kind of kind of identical, but it's really hard to scout them when they go Gateway, then Cybercore, you know, and then straight into uh, the Phoenix. Like you just can't really leave your base. You just can't really leave your base against the Phoenix, and then then it's hard to know what's coming next. Maybe if I had like 20, war 20 more Widow Mines, that's what I needed. Got to do the the old... Uh... Well, I mean, trying to go Thors was the mistake. Because I would have needed a lot more Thors. Like, there's a tipping point. There's a tipping point where the Thors can do it. But they can't be extended. They can't be extended like that. I didn't have a wall. I didn't really have anything going. So I can't... I can't complain too much. It was mostly just Thors in the open against Zealots. So even if I had a few depots in front of them, that would have greatly helped the survivability. It would have greatly helped survivability. All I wanna do, 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 do. 
Let's Go take ahead. you higher. See, you don't have to rush the orbital in this situation because the most likely point of me losing this game is actually before a mule would pay off. The most likely time I would lose this game is when an adept or two like runs up and just shades past this, you know, and just comes in and kills me. So I figure I build the second marine wall off and then well, the supply block right now is killing me anyway. I can I could definitely do it do it now, but my point more so is to get this done. Reactor that. He can still go around and be annoying. But it's not like it's possible to account for every situation. I kind of like taking this laissez-faire, devil-may-care attitude towards TVP now, though. And just try and play my expo game. Try and play my expo game. Try and get money. Young money. Young money TVP build. Look at him go. I don't know, Nate. Fuck it, bro. Just keep practicing it. Whatever, man. YOLO. The Phoenix build in particular is definitely going to be annoying for specific reasons that we've mentioned. But like, you know, maybe maybe we can make it work. It ain't nothing but ain't nothing but a G thing. What I would consider this game compared to the last game would be a wall off on the natural and we'll probably get ground upgrades for those thors just make the thors into giga chads go double armory kind of deal yes yeah, that's fine i'll take it yeah double armory double armory and get attack boom Get Giga Chad Thors. Giga Chad Thors. That's what we want. That's what we want. And wall that off. Wall it off, boy. Put an eBay. Slap an eBay on that, too, while you're at it. Don't you know? Save yourself a lifetime of misery. Urgawata. Sorry, that's that's what it says in Korean when you when you build a Thor. I just have that ingrained into my brain. Okay, I like having a wall. I like that. Now, if he goes mass zealots, they will not be able to simply waltz up to my Thors, and I think that that should help. If you ask me, it increases our chance of survival by a non-zero amount. Does he have anything chilling outside my base though? Oh, oh, he's got the stalkers. He's got the stalkers. Oh shit. Here we go. It's gonna blink. Oh, okay. He's taking some time. He's taking some time. Are being 
Oh, perfect. Yeah, did you see that? You see that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, we just got him off of our backs. That's nice. Of course, we're still not really out of the woods. Yeah, I'm going to do this, and then we're just going to take another base. We don't have a lot of moves because it's hard to gauge how committed he is. Like, is he going to keep building probes and stuff? Let's see. He's got the third base saturated. No, no gas, though. So, manageable, maybe. You guys like this setup though like i tried to zone him into anyway i feel like i feel like my setup was pretty good i feel like i did a good job good job getting a decent decent position it's got a lot of stalkers but it's not that's not the end of the world Should try to, we should try to do something so that we get a chance at playing the tournament, right? Most likely. We should at least at least try a little bit here. Plus two is done. Oh, he's, he's getting disruptors. He's like camping outside my base with disruptors. Holy cannoli. Sweet Christmas. Well, I'm glad I've got ravens. That's actually kind of crazy of him, don't you think? All that work and what did it get me? All that work and what did it get me? Some people just play like psychopaths, man. Can I can I please have a third? You probably have like four bases, bro. Come on, man. You're not gonna lose. <laughs> You're not gonna lose. All right, just, just let me take my third, please. Please, Lord, it's all I ask for. Damn, GG. Everybody's just been all in me today, huh? Like nonstop. Let's see. Let's see what who's in the tournament thing first. Okay, it doesn't start for two more minutes. Never mind. It hasn't actually started. We could play another. Protoss, Protoss is the hardest matchup for sure. I'm not going to complain about it, but I am going to tell you guys it's the toughest one. It is the toughest one.
Well, the queue is taking a little longer than I thought it would. We got a game against a Zerg. North Tune, what's going on, brother? How you doing? This is like the perfect map for that uh, plus one attack version of my BC rush. Because the third, the third is really hard to take on this map. It lends itself to two base play for a reason. So because of that, I feel like the right move is always to focus on a two base play. Especially since Again, my play style is always going to have a harder time taking that third base than he is. Right. With Zerg, you're kind of, you get, at this point in the meta game, Zerg's almost guaranteed like four bases. I remember when delaying, like getting a cancel on the third or putting a little pressure on the natural. I remember when that used to be like what TVP revolved around. Oh, how about this? No, uh, nothing. He has nothing. This is cool, but no gas at all. How about that? Your command center's got some new toys. We go ahead. Yep. Sure thing. Yeah. You want a piece of me, boy? SCV ready. Your SCVs are under attack. Yeah, Nate, you should probably put some guys on the gold because you just get a little more money from that, right? You need gold to buy that. Okay, they never actually attack. What? What? What is he? What? what are you smoking, hombre? What's going on? Nobody ever pokes. Nobody ever pokes. That's not a thing, dog. Yo, my boy Verm's in the chat. I love this guy. He's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the rookie, but Katie's Katie's mentioned it a couple of times now, so I was gonna I was gonna pull pull the overall community. I need to start watching Reacher again as well. I saw the lead actor for it was in the news for saying some based stuff. Show me who you want. 
Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this guy's, guys, this build, this build, this version of it, I'm cooking right now. I'm cooking right now. This is going to end up as like the next, um, this is going to have to end up as like the, the next freaking, I might have to make a tutorial for this version of it just because of how filthy it is. How absolutely filthy it is. And it is too. It is. It is filthy. He doesn't have link speed at five minutes, by the way. All the alarm bells are going off. All of them. Yeah, he seems fairly aware. He seems fairly aware. We'll have to see what we can do. He opened up with a crazy fast lair and he didn't get Ling speed. It tells us everything. I mean, it has to be a spire rush, right? That's what it feels like. It feels like it has to be. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, look at him sending his slowlings around. He's checking every corner. Every corner wants to know if I'm gonna warn him. Upgrade complete. What you got then, big boy? Spire just finished. You know, it's not the worst. It's not the worst thing that could happen since I do have the upgrades. It's not like my battle cruisers are going to be weak by any means. I don't think I have to worry about that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like my BCs, my BCs are still going to be crazy jagged. Man, this is bad luck for me, right? Damn. Bro, why is everybody playing like a ghost suit today? What's going on, man? What, where, where have all the bad players gone? How am I supposed to how am I supposed to play this video game if everybody is this good? Come on. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Research is ready. You've mined out some of your minerals. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You yes, this guy's corrupter rushing me. Can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. I've never even played this guy before. It's wild. Sussy Baka.
We're gonna keep pushing it though. That's for sure. Ain't gonna stop. Hell no. Gotta at least do something with the BCs that we have, right? Gotta try anyway. You've depleted that mineral field. Yeah. Let's go. Bad news. Yeah. Got it. You. You well, it's a trap. is complete. You've mined out some of your minerals. Well, butter my biscuit. Well, Let's see if we can get everything over here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Jesus. My brother in Christ has already got 420 ultras. Holy cannoli. You know, my BCs are pretty jacked, though. It's kind of the funny part about this, weirdly. tell me there's a funny part here yeah 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 yeah. that 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 right there that was kind of funny because he thought he was gonna kill me right there i mean i am more or less dead but it's it's funny because that should have been the point where all my bases and stuff died but my bases and stuff obviously did not die so that was you know as far as like potential outcomes go that was actually pretty good that's all i'm saying like as far as what could have, what other things could have happened, given given what did happen, that was actually very good. So that's all. Upgrade ready. Noise. SCV ready. SCV ready. You mined out a mineral. SCV ready. Just need to make sure I'm getting gas there. SCV ready. SCV ready. Because everything about this is just absolutely nuts. Center upgrade complete. Hi, hi, gang. Hey, Katie. Not my baby. Not my baby, Katie. What's up? Yes, come on. You've depleted that mineral field. I'm playing against one of those Zergs that does the. He did the corruptor, the corruptor rush. Yeah, that's annoying, sure. I protected the most important base. Field. 
Oh yeah, there's everything that makes this super crazy tough. Multiple different things, for sure. He's not gonna let me get that one. It is a hard knock life for us indeed. I mean, we've got other command centers, right? I guess. <laughs> we're just about out, though. I think we're just about out. I don't know. I don't know if there's any more moves for us. I felt like we did a decent amount of damage with that last big attack, but... This seems like the changeling man from yesterday. The creepy thin man. Damn. Did you? GG. Well, I mean, he, he corrupted rushed me. So, obviously, there's not really much we can take away from that. <laughs> pretty, pretty hard blind counter. Just the way it goes. I got the pooch sleeping next to my feet, though. I got the pooch, pooch passed out right here. I just gave him a little belly rubs and everything's okay. All right, we got a Zerg. But yeah, when he clicks the Overseer directly on your star ports after he's already started a Spire and he skipped Ling speed, like, just tells you everything. Nobody does that. It's not a real build. Your dog has his first birthday tomorrow? That's amazing. Congrats. Give him some scritchy scratch from everybody here. That's the play. <laughs> Just his standard build. Yeah, exactly. He's like, you don't do this? <laughs> Roger. 
In the rear with the gear. What's, what's going on? That's a Labrador. Oh, that's cute. Lewis, Lewis was playing with one of the other pooches when we were walking this morning. There was uh, one of them was in the dog run. Somebody, one of our neighbors has a dog that looks like Spud from Toy Story. Obviously, as we know, like 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 with people and animals, you know, it's all nurture over nature. So, I assume this real dog was not fictionally drawn up to be a bad animal deliberately for the purpose of being a plot device. So I thought, well, this seems like a kind of cute pooch and. I walked Lewis up to the fence, and the owner kind of nodded, gave permission, and they kind of sniffed each other. And then Lewis, after five seconds, he's just got to go. Rrr, 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 rrr. I'm like, Lewis, Lewis is always trying to get all the pups riled up. He always, he always wants to play, you know? He's a golden retriever. It's in his DNA. I don't, I don't blame him at all. But at the same time, it's also like, you scallywag, you. You scallywag, that's what you are. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Your command center's got some new toys. But yeah, I don't know. Not much else. Not much else going on. Spy looks wild today. Hmm. Don't have don't have much don't have much to report back on. I uh Yeah, yeah. You guys have anything anything cool going on? Add-ons finished. Somebody's uh, somebody's building like a shed in their garage or something. They got something cool. They're building a hermetically sealed box with little air holes in it. I mean, what? Let's go, yo Jay. What's up? SCB ready. SCB ready. Bum, bum, do, do. Oh my god, I just left I just let him in. Just let him walk in, Nathaniel. How do people know, man? Every, every people always know. There's no reason why that depot should have ever been open, but he knew. Yeah, the overlord died walk flying past it, that's how. God damn, I'm dumb. No, you're not. It's an honest mistake. The depot price should have been closed though. I mean, I think we could just we could just leave it there. I don't think it has to get any tougher than that. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Keep the depot closed probably. Probably the move next time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be in the rear with the gear. How many overlords do you think he's got on the map? Nate, this would be really good if you just transition into regular mech out of it. You don't you don't have to make infinite DCs. Just make like four. How does that? Just do your initial two and then go up to four. That's the play. And then transition into your Thor Liberator garbage. Because it's in by AF. You should probably prioritize getting your factory count up because you know the number one hardest thing about this game is gonna be taking your third base. Because once he defends this or gets you off of his back, you're going to be dealing with most likely a bajillion roaches. Yeah, and he is going for the spire, right? He has the spire already. Well, you don't have to show it either, Nate. He's not doing anything, so. It's true. Complete. 
research has concluded. Yeah, just build extra orbitals in your main. If that's what you want, just do that. Everybody's been really aggro today. Let's let's limit limit our reckless decision decision making. Oops. Yeah, that probably shouldn't have happened. No, because he's on the gold base already, too. Something else we have to keep in mind. We just got to get out a wave of tanks. One wave of tanks, then we start building Thors, and we take the fourth base. I think that's the move. I think that's how, that's how we survive. You you got your new company car today? Bro, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna let you know, you're a pretty cool guy. And if you weren't aware of that before, now you know. Just handing the compliments out today. What can I say? Research complete. Your research has. I don't know what it is. I just assume it's something he wants because he's getting it. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed, man. He's like, that's mine. My tendies. You're supposed to make nothing but battle cruisers. <laughs> the script said you only make battle cruisers, Nathanius. Look at us. Damn, just cast Smite. 
Just cast Smite on my base. Yes, Guys, yeah, going mass baneling memes, huh? Some of your minerals. Perfect. Easy. Your base is getting blasted. Your add on is complete. Sweet Jesus. I mean, I think we kind of just have to go, right? Holy cannoli, right? Holy cannoli. That's all I can say. Holy cannoli, rigatoni, baloney. Sweet Christmas. Sweet Christmas. Crimbus. I got nothing. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but this game has been a barn burner to say the least. Okay, we're actually starting to get somewhere. Actually starting to get somewhere. So just not enough battle cruisers, basically, right? Is what this boiled down to. Damn. It's tough, man. That's the second guy today that just corrupter rushed me. So there's just not really much I think I can say, right? If I go BCs, if I go BCs and they go Corruptor Rush, I don't think I'm ever going to be in a good spot. So let's just uh, keep on moving. If the tournament thing lines up with the end of a game, we'll play it out. But otherwise, I don't, uh, don't want to leave a game for it. I'm sure you guys get it. It's just there to hopefully increase the possible pool of opponents that we get. There you go. See? Free win. Evened, evened up. Evened up like nothing. All right, we got a game. Oh, another one, another one. Nothing much, man. Just enjoying uh, the battle cruising, hoping to see you kick some butt. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's what we're doing all day today, man. That's what we're doing all day today. The mistake I made last game was probably not going up to four. 
he was able to go giga hard on Mass Ravager too early. It was probably the biggest problem. Yo, thanks for the Prime sub, dog. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, let's see who we got. Barcode Zerg. I hope you're doing well though, Mr. Warcraft. Pool first. What's going on? There we go. Yep. Roger. Yo. Command center 2.0 ready to go. I asked. You could. SCV ready. Who wants some? Got to do four. Got to do four, maybe six, but... So he went pool first and then just basically double hatched behind it. That's that's the vibe I'm catching here. Go 
Oh, at least he invested in Overlord's speed. That's that's nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. Our philosophy is pretty simple. We don't want to start investing into building the army until we get some of the infrastructure done. That's the thought process. So let's add two more factories. And then while these are building, we'll gather the resources to build our next two BCs. Kind of what I'm thinking. Since our expectation should be that he's going to do that. And let's get another armory while we're at it. Cheeky turret. Yeah, he's got triple spores. The layers and his natural. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's fucking funny right there. That's what that is. My Viking just denied his spire. 400 XP. He didn't even cancel it. What? Guys, what? I... Tried to press my clip button. Holy shit. He just gave that to me. But my BCs are plus one. I don't know. It's not bad. Not a bad spot for us at all. Am I the only one that just saw all those drones running to, like, my base? Yeah, you see how many he made? SCB ready. SCB ready. You've depleted that mineral field. Yep. What is Go ahead. SCB ready. It's a trap. Oh, I wasn't looking there for a sec. He's got a lot of corruptors. What's going on? SCB ready. You mined out some of your minerals. Upgrade ready. Noise. Yeah, he's gonna totally come kill me, isn't he? Your base is under siege. <laughs> he's just like flying through. He doesn't give a he doesn't give a shit. He's like, your base is my base now. Your base is mine. 
Is he wrong? He's YOLOing it. Mm. Hold the door! Hold the door! Oh. He built another secret spire? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but he's absolutely crazy. I want whatever peyote this guy's smoking. Holy shit. He's on another level right now. It was tough because, again, I mean, he did just do a really big push there, right? He just tried to break us again. I think we're holding on okay. He's thrown away so much. He's thrown away so much. He really has. He really has thrown away an incredible amount of stuff. You know, the only thing that's probably on his mind is just stopping you from getting, like, another base. That's it. Yeah, see, that's not so bad. Uh, he's trying to make swarm hosts. That tells you everything you need to know. You've depleted that mineral field. Ready to raise some hell. Got it. SCV ready. Smoke. Talk to me, Bob. Light. Are you ready for this? I'm waiting on you. Is that it? You see how much he just had to spend to get rid of me there? That was like all of his banelings. Stay your Got free. Stay your Got here. 
extra firepower. You've depleted that mineral field. SCB ready. Your base is under siege. You mind out of mineral. Upgrade ready. Noise. Ah, there it is. He's setting up for the mind control, fungal, big bane bust. out some of your minerals bad news workers win games protect yeah. them your scvs are being liberated in the war your base is getting blasted your scvs are under attack your base is under siege is complete. Your SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. What's going on? You didn't build your base just for to get blown up, did you? Your 
SCVs didn't SCV sign up to be ready. Yeah, you're cooked now, Boyle. A phenomenal finish. GG, baby. That was hilarious. I cannot believe. I cannot believe he put units. I cannot believe he proxied two spires. That's... It's got to be a new record. That's absolutely got to be a new record. Did he... I, I, I have to admit, I did not think that that would happen. That was absolutely, absolutely bizarre. Hey, Gary Arganis. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Good. That was a good game. That's exactly the kind of game that I like to get. Get myself in the headspace for playing SC2. It was so bizarre, though. Let's, let's look at this opening, because it, it felt like he went for a really fast pool. Maybe I was wrong. Did he, go, did he go hatch first? Maybe I overreacted. Extractor trick. It was pool first. Okay, so he did go He did go pool first. It was extractor trick into pool first, and then... Beyond that, it looks like he went into... Then took the hatch. And then I scouted him, and I was like, huh. And he took his third right when that happened. Then he made one more queen and then went lair? No, he went ling speed. He did go for zergling speed before he got his lair. Not a lot of roach pressure openers these days. I should try to throw some hellions at him. I feel like I feel like maybe a few hellions would be useful here. And he builds the lair in his third base, so I won't scout it too. He builds the lair? Guys, guys. Thank you for the raid, Roddy. Guys, I'm about to show you the sickest the sickest thing this guy did to me, okay? I'm com I would like to compliment this barcode Zerg for absolutely Okay, just just look what this guy did, Kev. He got a spire over here and he he drops a second one here. My Viking runs into his spire that he's put in the corner of the map. You know, I can't really get luckier than that. So right as I teleport my BCs over to kill it, he starts a spire in the other corner of the map. And then, of course, as you know, this game gets a little crazy. This guy builds an Athanius amount of anti-air turrets. Love you, Roddy. Thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the support, sir. Appreciate it. So I kill his spire again. Now, he didn't cancel the first one. So I'm sitting here like I'm up two spires. I've killed two spires. I've taken my third base while this is happening. And then I don't even realize... He's researching plus one carapace in the bottom left corner of the map. So, that's that's my Wednesday. I just, look. I love talking a big game as much as anybody else. But I have to admit, he did, he did bamboozle me. He got me, he got me pretty good there. It's very rare that somebody will build a spire in the corner of the map. Let alone two spires in opposite corners of the map. That's, you know, that's some big brain, big brain 700 IQ stuff going on there. So kudos to you. I'm not a big fan of barcodes, but I got to give, you got to respect a, a good, you got to respect a good play where there's a good play, right? Triple Spire meta. But like guys, Nathanius is live. All of a sudden the Spire sales are up 800%. What's going on? We got another Zerg, so... Got another TVZ. Thanks for the raid, Roddy. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you very much. Hope you guys had a nice day. I saw... I saw, um... A little bit of the... ESL today. I was watching a bit of that earlier. Just watching... What is it? Max Packs? Showtime? Good series. There was Petit Drogo versus Eris... Eristanzi? Is that his name? Eristanzi? It's been fun watching guys like Drogo and Uthermal play after they like kind of stepped away from the high level pro scene. Like still getting to see them compete, you know, is one of those things that I love because it's like, well, I mean, I've been playing StarCraft forever, but it's it's nice that we still have familiar names. There's not a lot of names, not a lot of names that aren't familiar at this point, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Seeing Uthermal random into Terran twice, though. 
against uh, Lambo. That was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. It's been a good season. It's been a good season. I hope you guys are having a nice week. I appreciate uh, you supporting my boy Roddy, of course, and I'm greatly thankful for anyone who chooses to stick around and check out my stream. I just play chill music, build battle cruisers, and that's about it. The answer to all questions is battle cruisers. That's, that's more or less how we roll. Oh, and uh, I was supposed to tell everybody. I, I went mar I went and got margaritas last night for Taco Tuesday. They had 50% off tacos at Playa Bonita. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. So now you guys know that. It's a good week. It's a good week. This looks like pool first. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. We might need a tank. I don't know. Do you, do you think he built a... Usually, if they're going to bust you, they build it as soon as the worker scout is gone. So I could scout him. I could scan him with the first... What I'm going to do is scan him when this orbital transforms. We'll scan his main base. And if I see something, we'll prep for it. And if I see nothing, we'll prep for nothing. And if this guy's some Giga Chad Megalodonis 500 HQ... I, I, I mean, he could be HQ as well. I don't know what that means, but it could it could still be the truth regardless. Then then I deserve to get clapped, so yeah. CC before gas. Yeah, I find that it's really tough to deal damage with a Reaper. And I also find that you can't scout all the different stuff that can come at you with a Reaper anyway. So for that reason, I much prefer to open up with an SCV scout and a much faster expand because that means a faster second mule. And uh, I think I said I was going to scan him, but <laughs> oops, I dropped another. <laughs> oops, I dropped a mule. Oh, no. Don't. Uh, please don't get mad at me. I ordered something off Amazon again, babe. Please don't get mad at me. <laughs> that was supposed to be for my kids. My kids. College tuition. Oops, I dropped a mule. Okay, come on. Are you telling me this isn't bait? Are you, are you shitting me right now? Yeah, okay, okay. You know what? Sometimes it'd be like that. Can I hold this? Probably not. Probably not. Let's go next. I mean, if I had scanned him, I might have seen it. <laughs> but hypothetically, it's possible that I would have scanned him and it would have all been in the other base. So technically, technically, it's not <laughs> my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> Yeah, the long-winded speech. Well, now we have to play versus a random unranked guy. Oh, he left. Thank God. Phew. I feel like I just dodged a bullet. Just fucking went full Neo. Just... Oh. Oh, he didn't want to play TVT, I guess, huh? He didn't want to play TVT. Scans big enough to reach both bases. Eh, is it though? <laughs> is it though? If it's at the edge of the north mineral line of the natural, you know, then or the bottom of the main mineral line, you know, I think, I think that's just enough distance for me to be able to cope. There's a reason why they call our tournament Copa America. Yeah, you don't have to think about it too hard. <sighs> this makes you want to drink some brews and make BCs. That's what it's all about, man. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Had a couple instant levers there. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Thank you so much. Is Roddy doing uh, big brain bouts this Friday? That's my favorite thing to watch Friday morning. I like to, uh, I like to do a little, little waking <clears throat> coffee. 
Usually, usually Kev has like two Master League guys from his chat just beat the shit out of each other, Fight Club style. I don't know if you guys have ever watched it, but then there's usually like two pros at the end. But he just gets, he's just like, guys, if you want to fight, and, and you know, if you, if it's your first night, you have to fight. That's the only rule. Otherwise, you know, you don't talk about etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. He is okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what I like to hear. It's time to kick things off. Basilisk Big Brain Bouts is one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite weekly tournaments. Because the thing, the thing is, it's it's usually on well before I would stream, so it's just easy to watch. But the uh, ESL stuff, I have to like kind of balance out, and then some some things are just on while I'm on like the regular weekly cup. So. We got a Terran player, a little TBT action going on here. These weeks are for GMs that didn't make the ESL spring. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, they're doing the, the Swiss Swiss qualifier, right? <laughs> I think Roddy developed that plan a long time ago. He's like, guys, we have a way to make tournaments more interesting. And then he did it. Everybody loved it. And they were like, we're just going to use this forever. And then Kev was like, but you're never going to change it again? And they're like, nope. And he's like, mm -hmm. we went from one permanent system to another. He's going to flame if he loses. I'm not worried about that, man. It's okay. Go ahead. You no know, video game is a pretty safe outlet, generally speaking. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put any expectations on him. It's all good. Starcraft can be pretty stressful. It can bring out the worst in us. I like to open with two Reapers, go factory, and I just send the Reapers around my base. I'm gonna check like maybe here, down here, probably out here, and then here for like a proxy. Prox proxy Reaper isn't really that popular anymore, but a lot of people, pretty pretty big amount of people on ladder go proxy Marauder, which is annoying. I find that if you pull SCVs fast enough against any of that stuff, it's not too hard to deal with, but at the same time, it, it can still it can still be hard to deal with or frustrating. Okay, based on the timing of his Reaper. Oh, he booped himself. Well, I think the fact that Serral is going to be MIA from a lot of events. And for, for some reason, some people feel like doing like this cope thing where they're like, he's still going to play some. And I'm like, guys, I know he's still going to play some stuff. But the reality is all the other events are now wide open. I, I think that Clem is a great player, but I do not think that he is. I don't think that he's the level of Serral where... Everybody else is guaranteed to be effed. I don't. I don't think that. I have too much respect for Serral to to say that. I really think Serral not being in a any event that he's not in is wide open. I really. I really do believe that. It makes the game. It makes the game more interesting when we don't know who's gonna win stuff. If you ask me, anyway, I think it makes the game more interesting. So I love that. I think Clem. I think Clem is a little more human than Sarah. Just like I think Rainer's just a little bit more. Although Rainer's, you know, Rain, Rainer's kind of an interesting study, but I think he's he's had the slightly reduced per performance this year. Is kind of what it sounds like. But him, him and Clem will probably trade events, but. I think there's a higher chance one of them gets upset than I think uh, Sarah gets upset. You don't have to agree with me, by the way. That that might be considered a hot take. Uh, full disclosure, I'm a huge Sarah fanboy. I'm a huge Sarah fanboy. I'm absolutely on the Sarah is the goat train. What's going on? Ah, you scared me. 
So I'm doing a battle cruiser rush, getting some widow mines behind it so that in the event of a counterattack or some other sort of aggressive push, you know, hopefully he just walks into widow mines and blows himself up. I mean, that would be great. I feel like I feel like that would be probably really good for our, our chances of success here. We just got to get him to play Geo Guesser. Send him the coordinates of this bottomless pit right here so he just jumps in. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller. Battlecruiser is almost done. I mean, this is where it becomes a tight window because depending on what he's got... Hmm. Hmm. YOLO 420 blaze it. Yes, Commander. You hit. What is FTB ready? Oh, he's got that cool supply depot skin. Killed his tank. Command center two punch. FTB ready. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. He's going to be playing Marines, it looks like, so I definitely want upgrades as a priority, but we'll get a building armor planetary in front of the natural, so he can't base trade us. He doesn't have any upgrades yet. That's good to know, so could take this opportunity to start up 1-1. One, one. Teleport available in 15 seconds. Pew, pew, pew. Battlecruiser outranges Marines. Fun fact. Heh, <laughs> I can shoot you. You can't shoot me. Let me just kill all your weak Marines. Hang on. Before you get medevacs and all that, bruv. Yeah, we're cooking. I'm eating good. I'm a fat man. He hasn't taken the third yet? Oh, this is cash money. Oh. He turned me off. I didn't even see the Raven. You can't cast uh, Lockdown, though, while a unit has Lockdown on it. That was part of the patch. So basically, what that means is he can't chain the Lockdown. Which means that as long as my BC... As long as my BC doesn't die during the Lockdown, I'm guaranteed an opportunity to teleport it out between the Lockdowns. What's the timer? Yeah, I sign up for the tournament matches. I don't always play them because it's usually Diamond Leaguers. But if I get like a Diamond League Zerg, then it's like a good opportunity to practice my anti-cheese and stuff like that. Because they almost always just one base Ravager rush. So it's like kind of funny to do sometimes. But at the same time, I don't want to get... Uh, I don't want to play versus Diamond League Protoss players because my TVP is terrible. And they'll kick my ass and embarrass me. And then you'll all laugh at me and I'll, I'll cry about it and I'll have to... Book another therapy session, and you know how you know that's that's a that's a drain on the bank account, man. <laughs> Finding people to talk about when I've gotta gotta get this cannon rush stuff off my chest because my wife's telling me she doesn't want to hear about no protons for the seventh time this week, and my dog won't even talk to me because he's busy with his marijuana addiction. It's tough. It's tough. Anyway, it's just Wednesday, more or less, just Wednesday. At six battle cruisers, we can start to one shot his bases, and then then we're really pod racing. But we're not we're not there yet. We're not there yet. No. Yeah, my reaction time's that good. Can you believe I actually teleported before that went off? Yeah, me neither.
Oh, those widow mines are actually wrecking him. Persona. Oh baby. Oh baby, baby. Mm. 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 Sorry, I just, you know. I'm a grown man. So what can I what can I say? Feels good. On a higher shelf. My golden retriever has an eight foot vertical. He's air bud. What exactly do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, he wants the, the low health one. That's what he wants. He thinks I'm just going to give that to him. He thinks that's like, he thinks he's going to get it for free. Like my McChicken in the McDonald's app available today. Hashtag ad. It's not a real ad, but it's a fake ad read, so I can submit that for a, you know, application. You get it, you get it, you get it. Let's get that supply depot that has the special skin on it. How many more bases can I take? Oh, he killed one of them. Rip. Rest in artosis. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Let's just repair that guy and then take all the battle cruisers that aren't him. And yeah, it's it's true. I'm taking this base. Would you like to buy a vowel? Would you like to buy a vowel? Upgrade ready. Noise. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the worst way. You think you deserve that, huh? You think this is going down the way that you want, sir? My battle cruisers are 2-2. Two, two. Your marines don't even have plus 2. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing, son. That's what I call a little shake and bake, baby. Noise. Noise. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful right there. That's the intensity that I'm looking for. That's the tenacity. That's that's the level of focus. That's the level of focus that I expect. It's what I want to see. Are you using any extra buttons to your mouse? Hi, uh, Kastusis in YouTube chat. Uh, I am using the middle mouse button. I use the middle mouse button to scroll. I push it in as like a click, and I use that to scroll the map around, uh, the camera around the map. And then I have my workers bound to the forward mouse and the back mouse. I also have the camera button bound to the side piece. All right, this is the guy. This is the guy that did the giga, the giga hard counter. It's the guy that like skipped link speed. This is the guy that skipped link speed to corrupt or rush us blindly. Am I blocked? Oh, oh this guy's weird. This is the guy. This is the guy that blind hard countered us uh, at the start of the stream. He did. Uh, he did a two base corruptor rush. Obviously, you can see that he wants attention as well. Some people. McDonald's. Yeah. 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 Well, what was the mistake that I made? I stopped at two BCs, right? And then he just went into nothing but Ravagers as soon as I stopped making battle cruisers. 
Yo, Jazzcraft, good to see you, bro. Happy Wednesday, What's sir. Happy, happy Wednesday. Oh, you got some meetings coming up? Yeah, we got you. We got you. Somebody was uh, posting earlier asking about the playlist. There is a command. There's an exclamation point playlist command. Oh, he cheesed me this game. He chested me. He's chested me. Yeah, see, it's kind of what I meant, right? I think he just wants to tilt me, right? Why else? Why else with the weird chat comment, right? About being blocked and stuff. Some people, man. They, they, they would like crave my attention. I understand I might be one of the hottest guys that streams StarCraft, but look, man, if you want my attention, the best way to do it is to, you know, throw a brother a sub, right? There's no need, there's no need to stalk my doctor's office and try to get my blood type from them. You can just politely ask me. I'm B, I'm B positive. Now you know, all right? In case I'm ever dying, thank you. No, but he thought he was blocked probably because of the stream delay. So when he saw at the start of the game that he typed and nothing appeared on my screen, he was like, huh? <laughs> That's my guess. I'm just BC rushing him regardless. I don't care. YOLO. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. He's got a problem with that. Take it up. Take it up with the sheriff. Oh yeah, I experiment with stream overlay and graphic stuff all the time. You're just you're just gonna have to deal with that. That's just something that happens here. I take my craft. Uh, I'm a very I'm very passionate when it comes to my craft. You know, I like to mess around and experiment with all sorts of different stuff for different reasons. I'm not always gonna explain it or uh, offer you an opportunity to opt out. That's just what we do here, man. That's just what we do here. Who's been watching Fallout? Dude, it's so good. So good. We finished that Sunday night. It was incredible. It was really good. I was all I could think of the whole time was I really wish I really would give anything for these people to make like a Resident Evil show. If the people that made the Fallout show could do Resident Evil next, that would be great. It's got to be like the greatest gaming adaptation of my lifetime. 
I seriously do not believe I have ever seen a better video adaptation, a better video game adaptation. It's really, it's just really well done. It's really well done. And it's lighthearted and it's funny and it's sad and it's scary and it's a whole wide range that encompasses what the Fallout experience really is, you know? And that's what I love about it. It doesn't go out of its way to try and do something to move you because it wants to win an award. There's nothing in there that looks like Oscar bait or, you know, there's it. It's all pretty genuine, sincere shit. And I don't feel like I don't feel like I get that vibe from a lot of high budget productions. Like everybody's always trying to win something like everybody's trying to win some kind of stupid award or get their vision across or some other bullshit. Like there's always there's always something like that, you know, but I just I just really I just really enjoyed that. It seemed like a bunch of people who knew what fallout was dicking around with millions of dollars that's what it seemed like we got a couple we got a couple million dollars to burn and just do some dumb fallout shit guys that's what we're gonna do and that's what they did that is that is more or less that's what happened Yeah, the writing's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's always trying to get across some great big old message. Everybody's always trying to get across some agenda. There's always some this, that, blah, 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 blah. And this was just like, hey, this is this is going to be something that people who've played these games will just find to be really, really authentic. I can't say enough good things about it. I'm not sponsored or being paid by them. Uh, if you're watching Fallout Gods and you'd like to pay me to talk about you, by all means, hook a brother up. But um, yeah, no, it's just good. It's just good. We had to pace ourselves over the weekend to not watch all of it on like the first night. We didn't want it to be over. We didn't want it to be over too soon. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Go ahead. What's going on? In the rear with the gear. What is it? You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Can't hold them alone. Oh, he like went out there to catch my Viking and then the just didn't see the BCs, I guess. Yeah, see, I don't like this really, really aggressive creep spread push he's been trying to do all game, though. That's that's something I'm not a big fan of. What's your rank? Uh, I'm Grandmaster, like top 200. I'm not like a super competitive uh, player or anything like that. I do a lot of meme and troll builds. I just happen to be pretty good at the game because I played it for a lot of years, more or less. So I do silly stuff that's not technically competitively viable, but I have a, a mastery with these strategies that few others have developed. So I can I can still play can still play at the top of the ladder doing basically silly stuff more or less that's that's my my stream elevator pitch if you if you were so inclined as to <laughs> inquire for one Look at all these overlords he's sending out too. Uh, 
And damn, he had all of his guys just there waiting too. Oh, he's trying to catch my Hellions with Fungal? Is that it? I love that. I love that. That him like, oh, I'm just going to catch that like it's nothing. Yes, Commander. Oh, he mind controlled them. I see. I see. Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. I think we're cooked, boys. I think we're cooked. I don't know if we can get anything else past this. Let's see what we can do, though. I think that was about as good as it was going to get. Exhausted, that best 
Ultras are just too thick. It's just too thick. GG. All right. That guy is a little bit of a weirdo, as you guys saw with the comment at the start of the game. So I'm going to go take a whiz, and he'll queue up for a match because he's not sniping us, right? He's not. I know he's not. So I'm just going to be right back. Thank you. Yo, thank you, Rajan Lunchbox, for the resub. Appreciate it, dog. Japanese RE4 VR trailer is two years old. Where the heck have I been? Mm. Mm. Yeah, they've... Well, it's like most of those platforms are like kind of dead, right? Because they don't have any software support because of how expensive they are. Like if you want to play Resident Evil 4 VR, you need a PS5, which is like, what, $700? And then you need a PS VR 2, which is like probably another 700 bucks. So it's expensive, man. You guys think Apple's going to report in their quarterlies how many sales of the the Vision Pros? You think they're going to report all those numbers? We're going to get to find out how many were refunded. <laughs> All right, we got a game. Oh, it's the random player. He said he's Terran. That's nice. I'll say GL. I'll give him that. I don't usually talk to people in game, but if they're nice to me, I will. Now the Resident Evil stuff in VR, there's mods for it on Steam. There's mods for it on PC. But I'm a I'm a part of their creator program, so I'm not really allowed to stream. Like, basically, the deal is I get free games and free swag from my favorite video game company. And all they ask is that I stream their games in their original form. That's it. That's that's the deal I have with them. So I can't complain. At the same time, I can tell you there are great, cool mods out there. I just I can't show you them. So that's all, you know. I haven't had to buy a Resident Evil game for a long time. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is... Very happily, very happy to shill for Capcom. 
They don't give me cash, but being able to say that I'm associated with them is very good for my ep -ing. I can't lie. It's something I am proud of, you know? Whether that matters or not, but it's cool. It's cool. Capcom's pretty cool. It's pretty mid on? these days. Hmm. Well, we haven't, I haven't seen any of it. So that's why I was like, even if the first few seasons are good and then it falls off, that's okay. Oh my God, he said he was tearing and I did my TVZ build. Oh, what am I? Well guys, I think I'm cooked. If he sends a Reaper into my base, it should just kill me instantly. It should just kill me instantly if he sends a Reaper after me. I've just, I've played so many TVZ recently that my brain's still like wired for it, I guess. Absolutely crazy. Crazy. Yo, thanks for the follows, guys. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I'm live uh, Monday through Friday. I'll also be live on 420 this weekend. That will be uh, a very chill stream, as you can imagine. We'll just be vibing out. I mean, I could make a Reaper now. I could. Nate, you don't have you don't have to don't have to make Marines just because you started making Marines. You can change. You can change. All right, what's he doing? Da -da -da. Well, the factory and the starport are both in his main base. So maybe he just fast expanded to the gold. What's going on? Bam ba down ba da down ba down da 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 Damn. SCV ready. Huh? SCV ready. Woo. It's going at me. Where am I from? I'm from all over. I've kind of kind of lived uh, all over the US. I, I was my I grew up in uh, the Northeast. I was born in New York. I've spent uh last and say third of my life out on the West Coast though. I've uh, I've lived in Pennsylvania, New York, Nevada, California, Washington, and a couple of other places over the years. Yeah, thanks, bro. I'm pretty nervous, though. You know what I'm saying, though. I'm like totally not completely comfortable. I feel like. Uh, I want to start this battle cruiser, and then I want to take my third, and then I want to get two more starports and make more battle cruisers. But I'm honestly not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to get away with that. So I feel like this game has been a little cray cray, a little cray cray. Oh yeah, there's a new Taylor Swift album on the 19th as well. That'll be cool.
All right, got Yamato on the way. Start the gas. Send a marine around the edges of the map, just in case. He's doing something nefarious. Start at the command center. Get a special skin on my depot. Start another real depot. Get two more starports. And then we just chill. We just chill. Oh, uh, we did listen to the new playlist. I know I've only had these three Synthanius playlists for a little while. But volume volume four is just about just about ready. Played it on stream yesterday. I think the vibes are pretty good. We had a good good time. It's the kind of thing I'd like to uh, like to continue to do. Like to continue to do. Hope to continue to do, etc. So the idea of dropping the turrets like that is mostly to get him to drop his turrets. Because when he does that, suddenly he no longer has the capacity to... Like, suddenly he no longer has the capacity to... Sustain the push. It's all about the tanks, but really, if, if, I, don't, if I don't drop those turrets, he probably just interference matrixes me. And then it, with his turrets, kills the BC or just pushes me off completely. So I was just trying to make a a good choice. Trying not to make the worst choice. Yeah, he just like is kind of blocked from mining because of my position. You didn't build your base just for it to get blown up, did you? Oh, he is crazy. What? What's going on? No, this 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 guy's another another super aggro bro, right? Very aggressive. On some level, you kind of have to assume that he might just have left everything up here. No, okay. Your SCVs didn't sign up for it. Some fire here. FTV ready. Oh, wait. Your SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. You mind a man center upgrade? Yeah, right, he's being a huge pain in my tuchus. Everybody today is crazy aggro. They're coming at me big time, man. How am I supposed to get to my one shot of base number of BCs if he keeps 
hitting me like this. It's tough. It's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was this was like the inevitable right follow up here, probably. That's fair. I deserve that. Yeah, he just keeps going in at the perfect time too. It's rough. He obviously doesn't know about everything that I have, but it's still like, man, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely brutal. Brutal. I did get 1-1 one, one on my BCs for... Oh, then he the mid map. What the... F okay, so he just scanned me. I guess he did that scan to try and justify him clicking on me in the fog of war. I don't know. What the hell was that? What the hell was that, bro? You shitting me? No, the upgrades are killing me, though. That's that's still a pretty big, pretty big part of the, pretty big part of my problem. If I had been able to get to the number of BCs that I want, what I would be then able to do is. Your command center's got some new toys. One shot his bases, but he scans me in the. He just kind of clicks on me through fog of war, so that makes it tough. Yeah, crazy, right? Everybody today, man. That's just all it's been. I can't catch a break. I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'll queue an unranked, see if we can get a win. If we win the unranked, we play ranked. That's what we do. You're having trouble placing me based on my vernacular? Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, I use words from all over. I use words from all over. Mannerisms and such. I'm a bit of a mix, bit of a mix. I'm a first generation American. My dad is not from the United States, etc., etc. I got all that crazy stuff going on. Yeah, him scanning my battle cruisers in the middle of the map was just brutal. I don't really want to play versus this guy. I hope you guys understand. I'm just gonna dodge him. I don't I don't want to play against a random player that's gonna do stuff like that. I'm good. I'm gonna keep queuing, but uh, if I match against him, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave. Thank you for the follow. And thank you, uh, Tank Noob, for the three years. Jesus. What a god. What a giga chad. I got the random player again. I'm just going to keep leaving against him. That's my plan. Maybe uh, well, maybe this tournament I'll get a different matchup. As long as I keep queuing against him, though. I just, he's the only guy I don't want to play against.
Oh, I don't have anything bad to say about him personally. I just don't, I don't enjoy the games that I get when I play against him. That's all. It's nothing personal at all. It's like not wanting to play Madden against your friend who only ever does Hail Mary and doesn't do any other plays. Like, yeah, he's easy to beat, but like, you know, it's, he's kind of like also playing a bot. It's not very engaging. You know what I mean? I'm allowed to have preferences. You don't have to agree with them, but I am I am allowed to have them. Where's my dad from? My dad's from uh, Ukraine. Yeah, he immigrated when he was like seven or eight years old. You guys know my big bleeding heart progressive. All right, got out of our way. That's nice. Yeah, my dad moved to America in like 1980. From the, yeah, from the Soviet Union. Crazy shit, man. Oh, he used the recall. Nice. Did he has some stories? Oh yeah, no, my, my dad, my dad's got a lot of stories. It's crazy. Yeah, I learned English as a second language. He entered the New York public uh, education system at the age of like 10 or 11. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. Oh, my dad's, my dad's, a, my dad's a legend. He raised me and my two brothers by himself. It's a Giga Chad. Do I know of any relatives over there? I don't know. I think I think Ukraine might be where you would find most people who would have a last name Fabricant, but I've never been over there. You know, geopolitical tensions are thing are are a thing that have uh, kind of always been you know, a thing with that region anyway. Especially being American, you know. Well, since I am, anyway. No, my dad can't run for president, no. Oh, my dad's from the same place as White Raw, if you guys know White Raw. He's from Odessa. That's where him and my grandfather are from. I was named after my great-grandfather who fought against the Nazis uh, in the Second World War. Pretty dope. Just, uh, I mean, most of you maybe have grandparents that did it on one side. Mine just did it from the other side. That was the first Nathaniel Fabricant, anyway. The second one was just a shit poster who talked about StarCraft for 10 years. Oh, there's no way out of this, man. Oh, he's already got a bunch of stalkers too, huh? Yeah, we're cooked. In the rear with the gear. Huh? 
He's already got... He's already got... Uh, I have two army supply, and I think he's at about 15, maybe 16. Yeah, we're in trouble. I, I, I have no ability to play against Protoss. I'm very bad in this matchup because I don't know how to beat Blink Stalkers or Mass Zealots. But I will say I just get I kind of cope by just playing really greedy so that if I get lucky and they like don't play perfectly, maybe I can win sometimes more or less. It's kind of my strat. But like he's already got a bajillion stalkers and they were all waiting there too. I think I've lost enough that I can say GG. I hope you guys are okay with that. Let's go next. I like TVT, I like TVZ, but Terran, Terran versus Protoss is the hardest matchup by far. They have, they have so many ways to kill you. You started playing after a theater break. It's rough. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I knew... If I had an idea of, like, how people like to play, it would help. But there's so many Protoss players, and they all do, like, different all-ins and one, one and a half base pushes. Like, I'm not saying that they're overpowered, but, like, there's just so many different players that do so many different builds. I don't have like a binder. I don't keep track, you know? I'm not like a professional player where I have a binder of every name of everybody I play against. So it's just, uh, it's just tough, man. Sometimes you just end up getting smacked around like a pinball. You just bounce from a cannon rusher into a proxy void ray guy, into a blink guy, into a charge lot prism guy, into the oracle guy, and then back into a void ray guy. And then you get so paranoid and defensive. You're like rushing double tanks to defend yourself. And then that's the time that you get the guy that goes for the Nexus first, directly into carriers. And by the time you actually make it to your third base, the other dude's got plus two and six carriers out. And you're like, what the fuck am I even doing, man? What am I doing here? That's how it feels. That's how TVP feels. I know that in a hypothetical world where I could get all of the units that I want, I think I could be able to fight them. But Terran is extremely inflexible in the early game because you can't really engage head to head with any of your units unless you're in a bunker. So <laughs> it's not really a good strategy to make a million bunkers, right? So again, I just play greedy. I just play really greedy. Let the Protoss kill me. And then the strategy is that long term, they get bored of getting free wins against me. So they do something a little more macro. It's my long-term plan. You thought Taryn was the aggressor these days? I'm not Taryn. I'm Nathan. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Nathan. Don't, uh, please don't assume. Please don't assume things I do based on other players. I have a very unique play style that I've crafted over 20,000 games of playing. Over 20,000 hours of playing StarCraft, I've crafted my strategy. It is quite unique. There are not there are not other people that do stuff like me. It doesn't happen. Is this a uh, Ravager bus? That's what it looks like. It might be too late for me. It might be too late. If I get these bunkers up, though, it could be okay. This is why we SCV scout. This is why we SCV scout. Yeah, I don't I don't do what other Terran players do. I'm cooler than them. Some people like to get their build orders off the back of like cinnamon toast crunch boxes, but I'm I don't roll that way. Workers win games, protect them. This better be good. Go ahead. Huh? Roger. SCV ready. Come 
Command center upgrade complete. Armed and ready. FCV ready. Brand new. Jordan. Go ahead. Big boy, what the hell? Awkward. Is this really the map to do this build? Do your parents know you're here? Sir? Sir, young man, excuse me. Do your, do your parents know where you are right now? Do they know that you're here right now? Yeah, here. Right here. Yes. They do? Okay. At what time are they picking you up? You don't know. I see. I see. Look how many Ravengers he's got, man. Look at him go. Yo, he's going ham. He's going absolutely ham. Oh, this is super annoying, right? It's like, what do I really do here? You know what I mean? What do I do? Oh my, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. <laughs> let me out. Just let me play a game. I just want to play a game of StarCraft where my opponent isn't trying to make it be over as fast as possible. Come on, man. You really don't, you don't want to play with me? You don't like me? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't even get to make a battle cruiser. That's what I'm talking about, man. Are you kidding me, bro? I didn't even get to make a BC. He broke my heart. He broke my heart. He absolutely broke my heart. Somebody mentioned they don't like, you don't like the oval. I can change the shape, okay? I can change the shape. And now it's time for you to give me your feedback. Do you have a preferred shape? Okay, we've got the ellipse, yes, but I can also, I could also, I could also do it like this. If you prefer the camera look like this, I can, I can make that happen for you. I can make that happen for you. I've got a couple of other options. We've also got a heart. You know, if that's what you want, I can just, I can just, you know. Just, uh, um, let's see what else. What else do we got? Oh, I got a rectangle. Boom. Oh shit! I'm in a rectangle now. Oh snap! Bet you didn't see that coming. What else do we got? Oh, I got a circle. If you'd prefer, I mean, I could just do a circle. Maybe you like this. Maybe you like a circle a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just messing around. I've, I, I can do a lot with it. I've just mostly been messing around. I can also do a regular polygon. I don't know if this looks better. There we go. Perfect. I can add more sides to the polygon. Do you guys want to know? You guys want to see? Watch. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, it's almost, it's kind of turning into a circle. It's kind of turning into it. Oh, 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 it's coming back. It's coming back. I'm in a square. I'm in a triangle. <laughs> That's all, folks. 
So I can do cool stuff like this. I can also mess with the corners, right? I can soften them or tighten them. So I kind of have it a little bit softened on the edge. I can also zoom in. I don't want to mess with that though. That'll look ugly. I could do a little, maybe a little outer feathering. Maybe, maybe inner feathering, just a smidge. We just smooth inside. Oh, 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 that's kind of tight right there. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually think there's one more thing I could put on this that would look sexy. Let me put that glow effect on here. I think I can get it around. Oh! oh! You see this? You see this? Oh, 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 that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. That is. That is, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we call magic. That's what we call magic. I know what you're thinking, but Nathan... Remember when you made it so that the microphone would change with your thing? Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Check this, check this though, check this out. Check this out, boom, boom. All right, oh, there you go, look, look. The It gets a little bit brighter. It gets a little brighter when I talk. How about that, it's got a little breathe to it now. Beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic, let's go next. Party Rock is in the house tonight, guys. Party Rock is in the house tonight. Oh, am I? Do I have a tournament game I can play? Oh, I got the buy round. I got the buy round. I see. I see. I don't. I, then it would, it would be a Terran. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. Let's go next. You like the blue border? Thank you. Yeah. You miss the office workers in the background? Mm hmm We could bring the fake office back. I just felt like experimenting this week. Some days I just wake up feeling a little bit inspired and I just I just shoot my shot. Just go for it. We are cute for a game, though. We're going. We're going. The office was fake? <laughs> the nuclear scene from the Fallout show? Yeah, yeah. There you go. This is the real room. This is, a, this is my real room behind me. It's my giant wave on the wall, man. It's my zen wave. It's beautiful. I love that thing. See, my hand kind of clears it out, right? Because the AI thing's following my hand. All right, we got a Zerg boy. We got a Zergy boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. I love TVZ, baby. I love love me some TVZ.
But the cool thing is I can set it up so that it acts differently in specific different scenes, right? Like I might I might only have the background removal on while I'm in game eventually, you know? There's something that I kind of like about having a bit of the room in here with me. Also, it's not like the background removal was necessarily perfect either as far as the edging and feathering goes. You know, tilting it is that somebody made a machine. NVIDIA made the first machine learning green screen and then nobody else made one that people could just use. I'm like, ah, there's no way they can't do better than this. <laughs> Oh, he, he opened up. He's got some lings. He went pool first. He went Poolio Jones. No, but Katie and I started playing Fallout 76 because of the show. I just really wanted to play Fallout with my wife. And we're like, yeah, co-op mods don't exist. So there, here we are. There, there we were. That was his plan to just try and bust the bunker. See, that's why I waited, by the way. That's why I waited. I thought I thought he I thought that overlord was bait. I'm like, if I only if I send that up with two marines, he's gonna pop the bunker. I needed I needed to have I felt like three was enough, which is why I went with three, but it's possible I might have needed to wait for four. Or that he, if he had gone for like Ling speed, if he had done a Zergling speed rush, I think he could have, he, po he possibly could have just ended us right there. But he did not, so I don't think, you know, so show me, show me, show me. Ooh. Let's do our best to keep it together, shall we? Yo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching my stream. God bless. If you can hear my voice echoing across a uh, vast expanse of time and space, I want you to know you're not alone. I hope you're doing okay. Nate, don't you think you should wall that off? Nate, that wall is why you can't start your BCs. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, they're on the way. Bum, bum, bum. No creep tumors? All right. Victory. Huh? Bad news. Ready. Yep. 
Yeah, thank you. Wow, that's very nice of you. Tons of fun. God bless you, man. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to make my crazy battle cruisers work, but you know, it's it's tough. I want them to work, but sometimes they don't want to work. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 oh. Do we got them? Do we got them? There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> this layout looks cl quite clean. Nice. Yeah, well, I combined some old overlay graphics that I had with... Um, I combined some old overlay graphics I had with... Uh, some of my new stuff that I've been using and I was like, well, okay, I'll set like a, a transparency at like 70% on this old overlay I had. I uh, cleaned out, I cleaned out a bunch of the other graphic stuff that used to be a part of this. And then the idea was that it would look, it would kind of look like a dynamic overlay, like it does, but it would still have some panels for stuff to be like the music in the bottom right. And then I'll probably put like a dono ticker or I don't know, bit boss or something in the bottom middle. And then I can have chat in bottom left, me in top left, and then a big game feed. Kind of, kind of my thought process. It's time to kick things off. Is that TB's hat on them buildings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use TB. I use TB's icon. Love my boy. Miss those guys a lot, you know. We show love, right? Show love. Put respect. Put some respect on that name. But yeah, that was what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to clean up. I wanted to clean up the overlay, clean up the UI, etc. A little bit. There's a bunch of different things that and knobs and tools that I can play with with it all. Make it look however I need it to. I think I got it. Maybe we want to just kind of want to try this. Maybe zoom out of that a little bit. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Give it a little more, a little more room to breathe. Fantastic. But that's a dynamic mask, so I can make it anything basically. I can also make the mask out of another source, which I might do at some point too. I'm trying to think about what people would like the most if I came in and my camera was set up a certain way. Like right right now, it's about it's pretty basic. But what I'm thinking is like setting it up so it's like a Rick and Morty portal. I could do that. I could do a lot of different stuff. So I was I was kind of that's that's where it goes next. The first step is doing this. Getting it framed around the face, getting the border to a comfortable eye, you know, mostly just getting the framing down, getting the camera shot, like fixing that is the most important part at the start. It will probably be some sort of circular or hexagonal uh, kind of array. I don't, I had no intention of sticking with the oval. I just made it an oval to get people to talk about it. But obviously, the goal is not to keep it on some, some silly or boring thing for an extended period of time. He went hatch first this game, though. Do you think he still has the lings? Do you think he's still going to dive the bunker? I don't think he has enough. I think he was bluffing. I think this is a bluff. Got some new toys. Yeah, I'm like, I could have it be like a green portal. I could have it be like that matrixy kind of shroud kind of thing, you know? Could be anything. So that's kind of how I think about it. Doctor Strange portal kind of thing. All I have to do is get like an animated asset to display somewhere in OBS that isn't being shown normally on the stream. And then I call that asset through the through the same plugin. Instead of picking a shape, I can pick a source. And then I can pick anything else that's already running on my PC. And I can have that be the border. 
No matter what shape I pick, too, actually. I think I can still use a shape with that if I want as well. So there's some nice tools that they give you. That's with the uh, advanced mask plugin. Because technically when I use the green screen, that, that creates a mask of just the visuals, right? Oh, he's busting me. He's busting me big time. Oh, I see, I see, I see. He wants the... Look at him baneling busting me. That's cute. That's cute. What's going on? Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. Target locked. You got coordinates of what? Map comms open. In gear. Damn. That's what I get for BC rushing this guy, huh? This is my, uh, it's my penance. GG. Uh, I mean, I probably deserve to get the aim busted there. That's fair. That's reasonable. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to one base me. I did not. The, the opener I did was almost pretty good against that. But the fact that he didn't need the banelings to the fact that he didn't need the banelings to actually kill the bunker, I think that's what cost me the game. I don't think anything put me in a worse spot than that. We are searching for a game, by the way. I'll let you know when we get one. But we're looking, we're looking. All right, we got a game. We got a Zerg. We got a Zergy boy. Go ahead. Be in the rear. Huh? Bad news. Big job. What's going on? Ah, you scared me. Big job. SCV ready. Bad news. Ready. What's going on? Huh? 
Yeah, we're just gonna go BCs against this guy. That's the plan. This this map is one of the worst maps in the pool to take a third base on. Like both of the thirds are pretty bad options, so the best way to play this one is heavy two base. So we'll go double battle cruiser rush with uh, plus one attack. I think that's the game plan. Yeah, get, getting a third on this map is just a nightmare. Give me that gold. So what we do is we get the armories right as we get the starport here. So that, that basically allows us to maximize the speed of uh, the firepower being there for it. Since they made the armory cheaper, it, it's a lot easier. Like, 50 gas, like, every little bit of gas is so hard to squeeze out when you do this. You used to have enough gas to make a few reapers or a mine, but I think it's better now to spend it on this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I gotta deal with this shit. I getting cheesed again? My brother in Christ. Come on, man. Everybody just cheesing me now? What's going on, guys? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Did my camera app crash? Alright, let me restart it. Let me see if that fixes it. That game was so BS. That game was so BS, even my camera gave up on it. Alright, usually I gotta exit that with, like, Task Manager, I think. I don't think closing the app normally works. Alright, I killed it, and then started back up, and that should... That should be good. If it doesn't work, we can just go no cam for the game. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't like me. It's not, it doesn't want to work for us today. That's fine. Huh? Don't hesitate about opting for this strategy. <laughs> I don't, hey man, you know me, I don't care about getting cheesed. You want to stop me from building battle cruisers and want to ruin my day? You can be a jerk, you know. That's I can't do anything about that. But I got to keep my vibes intact. You know what I'm saying? 
Sweating it. Sweating it is hardly ever the solution. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll try to fix it after this game. We did get another Zerg player, so... It's a barcode Zerg. Yeah, if they want to cheese me, they can cheese me. I mean, most of the time, people that cheese you just want to see you get angry. So in, in those scenarios, like, literally the only way to come out ahead is to just not give a fuck. You know, you just got to let it roll off your shoulders. It's like getting cut off on the freeway. It's like somebody trying to cut you in line somewhere. Is it wrong? Yes. Well, maybe it feels wrong anyway. Is it illegal? No. People can do what they want to do, right? It's how you choose to react, though. That that defines your experience. And if you want to take things bad, then things will always seem bad. And if you want to take things well, then things will always seem not so bad. Or you could do that, the sin, the sin, what, what do they call it, cynicism, where you take no accountability for your existence or whatever, right? Something, something, Jesus take the wheel. But uh, I wouldn't recommend that either. You gotta live, you gotta live for you, you know what I mean? You gotta figure out what you want. You gotta work, you gotta work for it. Get some goals, baby. Get yourself some goals. Rax Expand is OG. Yeah, I love it, man. I love Rax Expand. It's one of the best builds. This this build is so much more economic than a Reaper Expand. It's so hard to do anything with Reapers in this game anyway. All the Zerg players are so good at playing against them, you know? Like, they've all got so much practice now after all the years and years. I find I find you hardly get... I, f I find you hardly really ever get anything. I'd rather just have the Marines, because half the time you get a free Overlord kill. They just fly them into your base. So the free, the free Overlord kill is obviously a huge dub when you can get that. Why is it more economic? Well, you get your command center faster. And when you get your command center faster, that means you get your second orbital faster. And when you get your second orbital faster, that means you get your second mule faster. And mules mine quite a bit of resources compared to regular workers. So there's a couple of different reasons why I really like them, but that's that's gotta be one of the bigger ones, yeah. I don't like to go command center first because I stream live on the internet and I think that uh, if I did that, it would be pretty easy for people to cheat and kill me. Uh, so I don't, I don't do stuff like that, you know? I try to have some limits. Try to have some limits. Barcode Zerg, speed over Seer, right as the fusion core finishes, you know? there's comes with the comes with the territory comes with the territory all right what's our target scv ready scv ready what's going on 
We just have to assume that he probably did like a corruptor rush or something, right? At least we get a lot of that. I see a lot of that. Yo, Dostovsky, sub sub. Planetary on the third? Well, it's situational. Most most everything I do is situational to some degree. Yo, this guy's a psychopath, man. Straight up, bro. Absolute, absolute lunatic, dude. Changeling man, take me by the hand. He just wants this game to be over. He just want he just he just wants the game to be over. Why? Why do you hate me? Why do you want to kill me? Why is everybody just, why is everybody so freaking cheesy today? What's going on, man? It's eight minutes, bro. What are you, where have you got to be? Is this the beginning of Spider-Man 2 and your Peter Parker lady for, late for Mary Jane's Broadway debut? Is that what's going on here, bro? I'm like, damn. All right, Mr. Barcode. Let's go next. I guess, you know what? He just wanted me to fix the camera probably, right? If I had to guess. If I had to guess, he probably just wanted me to fix that again. I guess it's just a bug with minimizing the app. The app just seems to crash when you minimize it. Because I can't close it, right? I rebooted it, and then it turned back on, and then, then I tried to minimize it again, and then that's when it turned off again. So I just hard crashed it again. So what I'm guessing is if I just boot it up again, what will probably end up happening is it'll boot up, the preview will turn on, and then it'll be working but I just can't minimize it. I have to keep it up on the screen or like I have to keep the window up somewhere. Basically, there we go. There we go, That that that's a little better. I've just been getting all in relentlessly every game. Crazy, huh? Nobody wants to play with me today. All right, I got a barcode Zerg again. What do you guys think? You guys think it's just the same guy? It's time to kick things off. You think it's the same guy? Do you think he'll do the same build?
Cheesing hard, man. Cheesing hard. But the thing is, if you go barracks expand with the scout timing, it's impossible to get caught off guard by a pool first. If you go command center first and your opponent 12 pulls you, it's kind of a guaranteed loss, you know? So it's like getting the barracks first on some level is better than command center first just because you get the mule faster, the possibility of defending something is easier. And I'm, I'm not playing very well, but... In most cases, just a bunker and a wall is enough to defend most of the stuff that I've been losing to. I've just been playing some pretty poor games today. Probably got like increased anxiety levels from the raid. You know, there's a lot of people watching, a little bit more pressure. Nathan's flubbing a little bit, but that's how. That's also part of how you know I'm not an AI generated program as well. So. What's going on? Gotcha. First Protoss. Yeah, I, I, you can do whatever you want versus Protoss. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. Terran versus Protoss is the most difficult matchup in the game by a very wide margin for me anyway. That's just me speaking about my experience. I don't know or care about yours. But for me, TVP is really, really difficult. So I just, I just kind of throw shit at a wall nowadays. I don't really try anymore. The Cyclone, the Cyclone nerf. The Cyclone nerf made it so hard to do anything mech, so... I keep trying, but... No, it's bad. It's really bad. But when it's that... The thing, the thing is, when the meta is that bad, like when your strategy becomes that unviable, then you can just do... You can do whatever you want, right? So against, Pro, against Protoss, I just fuck around. I just throw shit against a wall and see if it sticks. Nothing ever works two games in a row, though. I don't think I've ever won two TVPs the same way in a row. Ever. You have to find a completely new way to win the game every time you get that matchup. It is tough. It is brutal. It is cold and it is uncaring. It is cruel. And it is unkind. Don't mess with the TVP gods. I'm just like, I'm going to get increasingly a little bit more defensive every game. I don't think we've had, I don't think we've had a game get past five minutes for about an hour now. So, or at least it feels like an hour or just in increasingly batting down the hatches as much as necessary. <laughs> Yeah, I find I find TVP so difficult is it's literally not even worth like stressing over. That there's there's no clear there's no clear pathway to be like, oh yeah, just do this and you can kinda get around it this patch. It's like nah. The cyclone the cyclone was filling a role that it doesn't really fill anymore at all. So yeah, pretty catastrophic impact on, on mech builds. 
They're just, they're like next level bad compared to how bad they usually would be. Where's the speed overseer? What's going on, bro? Oh, beautiful. Perfect timing, actually. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot more mutas in the future. I think, I think there's going to be a lot more mutas in our future, boys. I've been supply blocked at 93 for like a century. It feels like absolutely horrible. It's been bad, man. It's been real bad. He did make corruptors though. That's nice. I wasn't sure if he would since I'm not like massing BCs, you know? I really, really didn't know. Waiting on you. Hell yeah. Light it up. Uh, 
Oh, so he's already got like vipers and stuff out. I see, I see. His plan was to end the game right there. I don't I don't think he was ready for me to attack him at all. Let's just go take another base. Yeah, if I had to guess, it might just be that the Elgato app kind of has a memory leak or something, or it might be like GPU usage rela related as far as the PC's going. Maybe OBS just getting priority over it is having some kind of impact. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I accidentally plugged it into a different USB port. I'm not really supposed to... Usually, there's only one USB port that'll properly handle that kind of high bandwidth traffic, so like, that could be it. GG, Mr. Barakodu. He's trying to evacuate them. Why is he? Are you gonna base trade me, bro? Oh yeah, that's what he wants. The greater spire. Of course. There we go. No brood lords. No brood lords is pretty big. Yeah, I'm a man and you're just a barcode. Sorry. Men, 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 manly men, men. Men. You've depleted that mineral field. Show me who you wanted. Mind out a mineral field. Good thing. Yeah, I mean, he fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. He went corruptors. I think this game, this game, I did kind of more of a serious try hard build. I was like, not rush straight for the BC. I'm going to get blue flame off the back of the tanks. I'll have a little bit of insurance against roaches, a bit of insurance against banelings, but I'll also have the capability of sending everything kind of just directly at him like that. So that's also kind of what I was thinking. So yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. See, I just pushed the cable in a little bit further and it turned back on. So that could have been it too. That might have been it too. It makes me think the Elgato app is the one lagging though when it my frames go down there. My settings, my settings are pretty nice for avoiding that. Get shrek Thank you. Thank you. Getting shrek is something I fantasize about regularly. You know, you know what I mean? You get it. You get it. Why does nobody go swarm hosts anymore? Because they suck, man. I hate swarm hosts. Oh, yeah. No, the special effects that I run on the stream are unrelated to the camera. The camera has its own app. That's all. 
I've started to use it a little bit more for some stuff, so I'm sure that it's maybe bandwidth wise slightly more constrained. I'd rather fix it than like not try and do cool stuff though. We experiment here, we experiment here. Hang on, I got a text. Green apple white claws or soju? Hmm. Wow, I just got like one of those Fallout like Fallout Baldur's Gate dialogue pop-ups in front of me. What do I say? Which one do I pick? Do you want me to pick up Green Apple White Claws or Soju or both? I love you and hope you're having a great stream. I love my wife. I'm going to grab a water. I'm really thirsty. I haven't taken a break, a real break today. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. But I am going to just go grab a water. We got these little protein packs, and I had one before I started my stream, and I feel really good. So I'm just going to maybe, like, you know, douse my head in a bucket of water real quick. Oh. <coughs> I'm back. I grabbed I grabbed water. Oh, I came right as the song ended. I was like, did my music box break? I was like, did everything break? And both, both is the answer. Your wife sounds hot. She's pretty she's pretty great. You could say. You could say. But not to me, all right? That's my wife you're talking about. We gaming. We got a Zerg. What's going on? Ah. Huh? Ben? Thanks for the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. How do you guys feel about horchata? Like, as a flavor or as, like, a coffee or, like, what is, you know, I... I've, how, what, what, if you were, ha if you had to describe, let's assume you got held at knife point in a dark alleyway in Arkham City. Um, do you think that if they asked you, you could answer? Like you had to be real serious about it. Jordan. In the rear with the gear. What's going on? 
You can't just give a cop-out answer. That's all I'm really trying to say. Oh, that's a quick pull. It's got Ling's speed on the way. We getting Bane? We getting Bane busted here? No, this has Baneling Bust written all over it. Only had it once? Hmm. I guess it's like a coffee type thing, right? Is that the origin? Like, where did it come from? Like, like banana flavoring is ba- well, maybe banana is a bad example because it actually doesn't taste like real bananas anymore. But, like, apple flavoring is, like, meant to taste like you're eating apple. I feel like it's a pretty fair thing for me to say. Does any, does anybody disagree? Like, an apple flavoring, it's meant to taste like apple. Like, you, in your mind, you could picture an apple when you eat something that's apple flavored. I Okay, I, I'm getting somewhere. But if you had something horchata flavored, what does that even mean? Anyway, there you go. Some thoughts. Some thoughts to curse curse your mind, curse your existence. Now you can Yeah, mull that over. I know what you're thinking. Well, Nathan, it might not even be like a flavor. Yeah, but lavender. Lavender is in everything, and lavender is a smell, not a flavor, okay? The world found a way. The world found a way. Old school, non-dairy milk. Okay. Your add-on is complete. SCB ready. Do you guys pay everything to your one-year relationship, or is it fifty? Oh, like what are what am I? What's our personal finance situation like? We split stuff. We work together. We work together. That's what we do. We're a team. Optics online. Let's go. SCV ready. Is got a target in mind? Have I ever chewed on lavender flour? I don't know. Horchata is cinnamon milk. Okay, how did how did it take that long for someone to say that? I had no okay. I I feel like I feel like I kind of left hanging a little bit there. No offense, but I feel like I was kind of left hanging. I mean, no offense, but I was also. I'm just messing. It's not that big a deal. These are the things that keep me up at night. You grew up with it in Mexico? Guess I'm used to it. Dude, that sounds awesome, by the way. Just to be clear, the word cinnamon milk, those two words together, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I learned stuff today. I, I learned something today. I just gained a new brain fold. Level up, son. What do you guys think? Does, does Wiggly Weenie have a spire building in the corner of the map? Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow.
Oh shit! Okay, well, I did not get the spire. I don't know how many corruptors he got, but it's not going to be enough. He did not ex he did not see that coming. I tell you, tell you, tell you that. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? He's got a right, he's got a right to be a little tilted after the way this game has started. I can't, I can't hate him. I can't, I can't, I can't bully him too much, too much further. He's had a hard life this game. Here we go. You've mined out some of your minerals. Yes, Commander. In the rear with the gear. Yes, Commander. I wasn't sure if I saw him coming from uh, the other base. That's why I was like, I need to scope out this spot. I thought his corruptors were coming from down south earlier. Yeah, Yamato 5 Corruptors go home. Great deal. Great deal.
Supply blocked. Reap. You mind out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more. I don't want to be blocked. Upgrade you mind out some of your minerals. You've depleted that mineral field. Add on done. Swap. Rip. Rip. Want to get Thor's? What's the story? Benwood Cyclone Resist. Command Center 2.0, ready to go. Will do. Is that what's that? Command Center upgrade complete. Let's set some on fire. Yes, Commander. Uh, it's heating up out here. Oh, really? It's a lot of roaches, man. You blew it, brah. You didn't kill any of the command centers. Manda, 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 manda. Whoo! That was pretty sick. I just clowned on him. I just clowned on him right there. Beautiful. Holy smokes. <coughs> yeah, you can see yeah, that app is chugging. It's chugging. Nice dub, though. Oh, my gosh. What did he... He went 14-14 that game. 14 gas, 14 pool. And then 14 hatch. I'm just like, damn. It's 7 a.m. Wild. The Zerg NATO strikes again. All right, I told her I replied. I said, chat says both, and she replied, easy. She replied, easy. F-34 Zerg NATO was enough for him. I want to see an F-5. Yeah, that's when I get like 20 battle cruisers. When I do that, get like 24 and just teleport right on them. And then they have like 60 corruptors and they kill me and I'm like, shit. <laughs> Life's tough sometimes like that. What's going on? Sometimes it's tough. What a legend. What an absolute Giga Chad Megalodonis. In all my days, in all my days, I never thought I'd see. A bricked up wall of Thors moving towards me. Oh, it's Protoss. Oh, shit. It's Ray Rain? It's Ray Rain? I'm cooked. Be 
ready. What's going on? Go ahead. What a great stream, though. It's been a fun time today. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Thank you so much. Got to show Roddy some love. Made it rain on me today. Your SCVs are under attack. What's going on? I think he's like top 50, top 20 on the server. This could get ugly. Killed it. What's going on? I killed the battery. Got something for me to Bad news. Oh, optics online. Let's go kill something. That's that's kind of funny. Your add-on is complete. But anytime I see them drop the shield battery in front of me, I'm like, this is my moment. Allow us to introduce ourselves. So hard to do. Ready. Yeah, that battery in particular. Ah, He's too dangerous to be left alive. You got coordinates or what? What? You there goes the camera for the hundredth time today. There goes the neighborhood. I feel like you gotta at least squeeze out one raven. Even if it's not necessarily like the three-eyed raven or anything, you know, that one's a little bit higher tier, a little harder to get. I feel like you just need at least a little one raven. Ready to go. Engineering at your ready. This 
Okay, so boom, boom, boom. You don't have to worry about the camera this game. This game this game will be over very soon. I'm playing a guy that's like a million times better than me. I should honestly I should have just left at the start of this game. There's there's not really There's not really much I can do here. This guy's like top 10 on the server. Gonna try and see, gonna try and see how many uh, banshees I can squeeze out before he forces it over. Yep, there it is. GG. Yeah, you see how high, you see how much higher up this guy is than me. There's no chance I could beat him. No chance. Yeah, absolutely none. Here's what I'll do though. Let me see. I can just dodge him. I think. When he queues up for a game, then it'll be safe for us to search. Obviously, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to play good games against people that are not close to our skill level. He got proxy tempest battery on that map. Yeah, that could be frustrating. Not t again, t TVP, man. I just don't even, you know, it's just not worth. It's not worth the breath. It's really hard. It's really hard, and you're either mature enough to be able to handle that, or you're not, and that's basically it. <clears throat> you just got to deal with being a punching bag in that matchup. We got a game. <clears throat> oh, it's LTK. Well, it's a Zerg. I'll, I'll play. I'll play because it's a Zerg. But the LTK people are really sus. They got a lot of known cheaters and BM people in their clan. Every time I play against somebody from this clan, they usually speak with like slurs and stuff. It's not. 
It's not very cash money. I'll mute him if he starts saying weird stuff, but it is a Zerg, so I'd kind of like to play the TVZ. If he was a Terran or a Protoss, though, I think I would probably dodge him. You think Demu could beat Pig at arm wrestling? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Demu doesn't really... Ben doesn't really play that much SC2 anymore, right? Isn't, isn't SC2 still like 90% of what Pig does? Nice. Thank you, Stavka. Appreciate you, sir. What's going on? SCB ready. In the rear with the gear. Huh? Huh? Go ahead. In the rear SCB with the gear. ready. So Stavka. Big job. He played recently. Still got it. Oh, of course he's still good. Of course he's still good. But to put him... But to try to try and argue his ability against somebody that's grinding the game every day, it's it's a little bit less of like a who I believe in and a little bit more of like a respect thing, you know? Is it is it is it fair to try and pit two people that are friends against each other in a game that one of them plays basically professionally and the other one doesn't? It's like you know? You can do it, sure. <clears throat> I just find it important to point out that I, I find that a little mildly facetious, that's all. Go ahead. It seems to draw more attention to the discussion around whether Ben plays StarCraft, which most people don't really, you know, they, they bring that up in a kind of negative context. So all of this to say, let's avoid, let's avoid going in that direction if we can. And they're prime? You know, that's a much more fair conversation to have. I used to be a really big uh, fanboy of, of Ben back in the day, so I probably would say him. He had some pretty crazy series. He had some pretty crazy series in his days, especially back in, like, the MLG days. There was a time when Demu was beating the likes of Scarlet in big tournaments pretty regularly. He was he was definitely one of the best foreign Terran players in his peak. The Muslim, well, Ben Demo, no. He rebranded, but you know, my memory still exists, so sorry. Fuck me. But yeah. <laughs> I couldn't neuralize myself to forget his old name, so sometimes I say it. Please forgive me. Please do not brutally brutally murder me or anything. But yeah, I love Ben. I was what did you guys see yesterday? I was watching the ESL yesterday and uh Ben actually I think I think Alice brought something to him on camera during during the match. That was pretty adorable. It was like kind of a it was like kind of a wholesome moment, you know. You could hear his baby you could hear you could hear his baby crying a little bit in the background. You're like, oh well, you know, babies make noise, it's normal. It's kind of uh it's kind of adorable though, right? Kind of a little wholesome, little wholesome real life family moment for Benjamin Baker. His name's Baltimore. Mm. Good for Ben. I think in Pig's Prime, when I think about Pig's competitive prime, I think I think of WCS Potier, you know? I think of WCS Potier, that one we did way out in the middle of nowhere, France. I remember Pig played a pretty incredible series in that tournament. I don't know who knocked him out. It might have been Polt or one of the Korean Protoss players. But I remember Pig had probably one of his best performances I've ever seen there. And obviously, it kind of goes without saying, he cleaned up in all of the Australian leagues throughout the years. And no, you know, it's not, again, not a big shocker. I had all the queens ready in that spot. Rip me, bruh. 
Do you have a desire to be a dad one day? I mean, if circumstances permitting, yeah, of course. Of course. You know, I, I always say the same thing to everybody. I grew up in abject poverty. I grew up in a single parent household and I had a really, really, really rough childhood because, uh, most, you know, money, more or less. So, I don't, uh, I don't have any, any desire to rush into that kind of situation, but if I get to the point where, you know, I have a home, I have the means, then sure, why not? But it's, uh, it's one of those things you gotta, you know, it's a big, it's a big deal. But yeah. Yeah, I'd love to one day. Of course. Of course. I gotta do that thing that every sad American dad does, where they pray that their kid just grows up and becomes the next great player for their NFL team. Like, there's really no better fantasy than that. Can you imagine if my kid kid became the best quarterback the Jets ever had? Holy shit. Can you imagine that? That would be... It would be crazy! You can say it's impossible. That that part doesn't matter to me. But if it happened, it would be awesome. Can you at least agree with that? That's that's the only question I'm asking. If it happened, would it be awesome? I think so. I think so. That's all. No, I think he was like waiting for me to battle cruiser rush him or something. Everybody's been playing so weird today. I've I, I kind of decided to switch it up a little bit. Oh, I thought I started another command center. That's unfortunate. Yeah, no, not that simple, bro. Not that simple. Talk about a simple kind of, sir. Look, okay, times ain't times ain't that easy. All right, we're all doing the best we can. Okay, okay, etc. Okay, etc. Yeah, give me a couple of your Hydra guys. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No upgrades on the Corruptors, by the way. Boy, 
He brought all the corruptors though. He brought them. He, he went into mutas for this. Command center 2.0. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. I'm waiting on you. Upgrade complete. Command center upgrade complete. No, I think we might actually be dead though. I don't think I have anything for the swarm hosts. That uh, that'll be a problem. That that'll be that'll be a problem. Yeah, I did it this way because I don't want your swarm host to be a huge threat. Could have been a lot worse, actually, right there. Not bad. If he had got all those Thors, I would have been in some deep shit. It was very, very nice that he did not get all the Thors. Upgrade 
Now nah, we're good now. He's cooked. Yeah, he went Broodlords against Thors. It's over. That Vespine geyser. Geyser, you've depleted that mineral field. <laughs> His army of swarmhost. Swarmhost broodlord. I love it. What are you going to do now? About to find out how many roaches this man can make. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Roaches, yep. Got him. Oh, you can't see me dancing anyway. My bad. Game on! <laughs> what do I usually eat? I don't know. Calories? Carbohydrates? Proteins? Fats? 
Chicken nuggets, I feel like they're kind of their own category, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I feel like chicken nuggets could could be their own category. Well, you see what's crazy? Here's here's the thing. It's actually showing up on the app. I'm actually seeing it show up on the app. So, that's kind of what's getting me about it a little bit. It was showing showing up on the app. So, let me see. Let's go to the out of the game screen. Been a pleasure uh, catching, dude. Nice, man. Enjoy your Fallout, bro. Katie and I will probably be playing some Fallout 76 tonight. Let me see. Let me see. That's If I turn down the resolution, will that make it less angry at me? Is that it? Can I do that? Will that make it bug out less? Whenever LTK loses, a little kitten is saved. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, I minimized the camera app again. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> of course it decided to start messing with me today. Not yesterday. Not any other day. It's okay, though. We just crushed that guy. That was awesome. That was a great match. Not too shabby. He went hatch, gas, pool, overlord. Yeah. Yesterday, you returned to StarCraft and started playing Terran. You love it? Hey, Terran is, Terran is great, man. I've been playing Terran for a long time. I've been playing Terran for a very long time. I love it. I've been playing StarCraft for a very long time. I mean, I've played all the races in the game, but you know what I mean. The quest for glory begins. They <laughs> have yeah, the meme drops in the dank meme. Yeah, our Discord, our Discord is still pretty good. I do like the Discord. I do. The vibes, vibes are chill. Love the offensive sensor tower, those, those short-lived it may be. Yeah, I mean, you, you might as well, right? If you spend that gas on units, the thing is, those units aren't going to get across the map instantly once they're built, except maybe the battle cruisers. Oh, we got another Zerg. Hell yeah. See, you know what I mean? It's one of those situations where spending that gas right there and having, like, positional situal awareness of where his units are around me, like, that's actually kind of nice to have. Like, building the sensor tower and the turret the turret is for two reasons. A, in case he dives me. But the other reason is a lot of people will be going into burrow. And when you're on creep, when you're in their base, yeah, there's a non-zero chance. He brings burrowed roaches to dive you or burrowed infestors. And that's a big reason why I always, if you're in a base trade like that, always throw down turrets. Always, always drop a turret or two with your army if you're outside someone's base like that. As I scan and clear out the creep with the push... It's going to naturally create some small pockets where you can build in the middle of the creep, basically. And that's where you want to drop your turret. It's also like a super power move because you're basically telling the Zerg that you're reclaiming the world from their disgusting, you know, they spill grape jelly, jam, whatever it is all over the floor. That's what they do. They're like the stranger things upside down. You know, that's what the creep spread is like. There's little tendrils and the... Get that, get that ash in the air. Oh, I got the UI bug. Bug slime's kind of nasty. Yeah, yeah. The Zerg's just trying to slime your base the whole game. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I can't abide by that. Absolutely not. Center upgrade complete. 
Whatever it takes. This better be good. Affirmative. Armed in. By the numbers, boys. SCV ready. Good job, huh? SCV ready. What's going the on? Add on is complete. Taking the geysers. Thank you for the entertainment. Thank you, Sneaky. Thank you for the sub, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. God bless you, man. I would say you guys don't know how much it means, but I think you get it. I appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like I got a sneeze. I don't know. I got a little yeah, yeah. <laughs> JW! JW, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Did this man just save my life again? This man just hook it up again? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Obsolete Zero. Oh, my goodness. You guys being so nice to me. You're going to make me blush. You're going to make me blush. I'm trying to play the, I'm trying to play the game over here. Now I'm getting out. I'm like, whoa. Get a little hot and bothered. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, the vibes. The good vibes are rolling today. Good vibes are rolling today, huh? He has a decent amount of lings, though. He could be coming. But the idea is you still build the BC, you know, even if this guy had the build order tab open, he, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be enough to know what I'm doing. So that's some, some of these, some of my builds are meant to, this is just building a BC to clear creep really. But if he's looking at the tab or if he's, if he's ghosting, if he's doing anything, if he's trying to come at me, if he knows my name, etc., then he'll prepare for like a big push that just isn't coming. Yeah, but you see, use the BC to clear the creep. That's how you do it. One BC, one Raven. All the Zergs I've been playing lately have been crazy diligent about their creep spread. Nah, just get the get the cancel, get the kill, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Go back to.
There we go. We got all his creep spread there. Your research has concluded. Now we transition to the Thors. We already have blue flame for the Hellions. Got some new toys. Everything's coming up, Nathan. Let's just get some more depots. Cover the outside angles a little bit. Come on, what? Oh, <laughs> what? But we did get him to build a million uh, corruptors, so that is nice. That is nice. You've depleted that mineral field. I'm going in. Let's you didn't build a base to get blown up, did you? Are you ready for this? Add on that. Can't hold him alone. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Yeah, he's got a lot of Banes. Take it up. Take it up. Crazy. Crazy. Some of your minerals. 
What's going on? SCV ready. You've depleted that mineral field. Looks like he's gonna go in for a big base snipe on that side. Your base is getting blasted. Mind out some of your minerals. Out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Where's the hottest? Oh, wait. Talk to me, boss. Go ahead. What's going You've mined out some of your minerals. Sounds sweet. I'm waiting on you. Oof. Yeah, we're in a tough spot. We're in a really tough spot. He was kind of tracking me there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was tracking. He was tracking us there 100%. 100%. Let's just max out. There's no, there's, I, I don't know. He's, he's being, he's being a little weird. He's being a little weird. Guys are depleted. You've bled the planet dry. Upgrade ready. Noise. It's your done. Channel's clear, boss. Add on 
Rounds finished. Yes, sir. What's going on? Ready for Got no patience for shit. Getting fired up here, Bob. Oh, uh, wait, you state your request. So his strategy is more or less just neural parasite me, right? That's that's what this has turned into, basically. Yeah, it's not that easy. No. A phenomenal finish. Lowering the resolution on it seemed to help a little bit. That's nice. Noticed a lot more balance in Nate's unit comps lately. I I, I told you guys I would start trying a little bit harder when this patch came out. I was I was being sincere about that. I think this patch has been uh, pretty good. The cyclone's not really as good as it used to be, but like that's basically it. Otherwise, everything else is kind of nice. Look at that. He was tanking. He was trying to take my base on the bottom. He had that bottom left base. He was so patient. He was so patient. 
I could tell that his whole strategy revolved around getting the neural parasite. And that's why I that's why I crossed the map as slowly. It was very slow. Very slow. Very painful. But he was just gonna mind control me. If he has all these ravagers and infestors, look at his army. His army is he doesn't have a hundred drones, guys. And I I might have had a few more SCVs than I needed, I guess. But yeah, I just kind of slowly pushed through the middle. And I was like, well, I might as well just Yamato the Ravagers since he's obviously going to try and protect the obvious Yamato targets. So that's why I was like, we got to push slowly. I'm building turrets on top. I'm leaving Liberators and tanks in the back and just do it really, really, really slow and just constantly slamming down the turrets and scanning. And then I saw the knurled the battle cruisers on the bottom side. So I was like, okay, top side should be clear. I tried to grab a few of them there. I think I almost got one. But again, I still felt very confident as long as I managed to make sure I always had detection around the primary core of my army, you know? And then, uh, yeah, his army was obviously really low tech, you know? Mostly just ravagers and roaches and banelings, very lair heavy. If he had vipers... I mean, Ultralisks, if they get on top of the Thors, like, if you have enough money to make, like, 13 Ultras, that, that honestly is actually really fucking hard to deal with. But then, then it kind of comes down to, can I afford BCs? And obviously, as soon as the fight starts and I start to lose supply, I'm able to make, you know, five Battlecruisers at a time without much difficulty. But that's why when you slow push up, I kept scanning. I had the Raven. I kept scanning. And I'm going to point out something he does here. Because he gets the the Liberator. But he dives this Raven before the fight starts. He dives the Raven. So I guess my weak spot on detection was this bottom area right here. Because this is where he grabs us. This is where he grabs us. But the Corruptors come in. He dives the Raven. And then he sends everything, right? And then he Neural Parasites. Takes two of the Siege Tanks. He's got two of my tanks. And then he's dropping all the biles, and I'm just like, holy cannoli. He's got a lot of stuff, but obviously I, I do have I do have a 3-3 mech, so my army's not that bad. Then he neurals my liberator, and I was like, nah, man. That's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. All the zergs I've played today have been very good at dumping changelings on me, though. And then he just reinforced Mass Roach. I probably shouldn't have extended the Thors. I probably should have tried to keep everything condensed. And then maybe the game would have ended right here. But it, I mean, I still kill him in one minute from now. Because my army's just cracked. He only has plus one Carapace. I don't even... My tanks might be two-shotting him. It's kind of nuts. Two-shotting Roaches with tanks. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Maybe they always two-shot Roaches once you get plus three. I don't know. All I do know is that it looked awesome watching them blow up. And then he had creep over here. Naming himself after one of my favorite donut chains, huh? Is that it? Is that it? Is that how you're trying to get back at me? It's a little psychological, a little psychological torture there. He was playing unranked. Shit. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy. Yeah, his unranked MMR is 5K. Yeah, that's actually sick. That's actually pretty sick. Well, I guess it's a little bit lower now. Yesterday, yesterday, I think I beat him, and I was like, wow, I got plus 30. And then I was like, he's unranked. <laughs> Maybe he came back from a time off or something. Some great games today, huh? It's been nice. It's been a nice day. Whew. Loving the digest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting beat. We got a... I think I got a couple more games in me, though. It was crazy. Thank you, by the way, for the subs. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift sub as well. Thank you, sir. Whew. Yeah, that that fight was just nuts. I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to breathe. I'm just trying to breathe.
Yeah, Thors, Thors are only good against Ultras if you have a choke point or a wall. In my experience, if you're in the open and the Ultras can get on you, like almost one-on-one -on -one with Ultra your Thors, then then you're actually, if you're one-on-one, -on -one, the Ultra beats the Thor. So and then you add in the splash damage from having them all around you. Then, then yeah, then yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Okay, okay then. I guess he's fine. I guess everything's okay. Three sixty surround, then it's over. Yeah, yeah. The, the well, you see, the thing is, people say on paper it should never be like that, but that's not really true, because if you think about it from that perspective, then logically, as a Zerg player, your train of thought must be: if I switch into Ultras while he's pushing me, then there's a much higher likelihood that I can get a big surround on him, right? Like if he's if his guys are in your base, more or less. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's a, I think that's a pretty big deal. I think that's a pretty big deal, personally. But. Let's just go CC first, since this is gonna be a weird game. Yeah, Ultras, when people switch into Ultras after a big fight, that's when I think that they're strongest. And then you're like, yeah, well, you should never, nobody nobody would ever engage Ultras in the open. Nobody should do that. So you, so obviously it won't happen. But like, that is also, that's also just a completely wrong train of thought too, though. Because if that was the case, then, if that was the case, <laughs> then nobody would ever do it, right? Then you would just, people would just automatically lose every time. But that's not true. People do it all the time, man. People go ultras. People go ultras all the time. I think he's just trying to mess with me, right? Seems like he's trolling with the pause. But yeah, a good Zerg player wouldn't just build ultras and let your opponent see it. Like ultralisks are gonna be best. Ultralisks are gonna be best as a transition. I do believe that. I do believe that. What are you doing, gorgeous? Oh, he's making Ravengers. We got Ravengers coming out, boils. We got Ravengers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh, -ru Raggy. Feeling this love, but I bet you know that. He's like, no, 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 no. You can't build that one. He's like, no, no, no. That's fine. I can I can protect the depot. He can have it. 
If we panic and give up too much, that's that's really that's really the only mistake we can make here. Yeah, he still has a lot of ravagers too. Yeah, this guy again, he's smoking some strong shit. He is smoking something. Something. Then he's like, all right, I oh, just kidding. I changed my mind, bro. I changed my mind. I don't want to. I'm like, mm, a little too late. A little too late for that. On done. Swap away. I think we all know you made your choice. I mean, he is trolling us, so anything is possible. I don't know. I don't know what he's capable of, but this has definitely been a very funky game. That's for sure. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see how much that cost him. Zerg economy can kind of bounce back from this sort of thing pretty easily. That's the only issue. Yeah, so he's just rushed straight up to the corruptors, as you can see. So he was already blind countering us. He was already blind countering us, as as we expect from a troll, right? He's probably just uh, got the stream up, hoping to get a hoping to get a laugh, right? You know what I mean? Let him, let him, right? That's what we do here. Just let him get it out of his system, and then we won't have to play against him again after this game. I promise, guys. I promise. I'm his favorite StarCraft caster. I did all his favorite tournaments, and he's very excited about playing against me. So you know what? You know what? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. My assumption is that he's going to go into Ravagers as soon as he can. I don't think he wants to do anything other than build Ravagers based on the start of the game. But I do believe it's possible that he'll consider it. Oh, 
Bro, when you haven't cast, I haven't like been a StarCraft caster in like years at this point, and people still think it's a big deal to beat my ass on stream. That's like one of the biggest signs of respect there is, man. I appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. One day nobody will troll me, you know? It'll be a sad day. Can you imagine how terrible that would be? nobody trolled us at all like ever that would be awful man that would be that would suck yo this is a kind of crazy amount of mutas though huh like he's really going ham it's a shame he came in right as uh, my bc's left my base maybe i'll try to kill all of his drones and then then we'll go back I think that's really about all we can do. Now, you made a backup spire, too. That's unfortunate. All right, well, GG. Again, I think think it's pretty clear that that guy was, you know, he's got some issues, so we'll... Uh... <laughs> Thankfully, that wasn't a ranked game, so we didn't lose anything. But, uh, yeah, you look at his icon. He's blocked from speaking. Do you guys know how hard it is to get banned from talking in StarCraft? Yeah, this guy's got to be a serial killer. Straight up. All right, well... <laughs> We're not going to rematch him. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pee and grab myself a water, and he will queue for a game while that is happening. And then we will play another game. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, like I said, he got into a game. That's that's the ideal outcome. Some people are wild. Some people are wild. You guys, you guys are really well mannered. Everybody in chat has been great today. I don't have any complaints. I don't have any complaints about the stream. Some some people. I mean, that guy. That was that was a little spicy. A little spicy of him. Oh, we got Krispy Kreme again. Now he wanted me, the unranked boy. 
You know, preheating the oven, your dog ate all the pork rolls off the counter, frozen. Dogs, man. Dogs. I love them, but Jesus. The next thing I want to do is get the uh, the mask to track the camera inside the window so that if I move around, it follows me. But that's, that's another, you know, that's another. That's probably one more thing that if I add, we'll just break something else. So let's face it. It might be, it might be a pipe dream. It might be a pipe dream. Maybe, maybe this world wasn't, maybe this world wasn't made for us. Twitch chat is only scholars and gentle people. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true, though. Could you do a CC first game, please? See, guys, I don't want to be mean to this guy, but how do I politely tell him that I went command center first in the game that I just played? I don't know. I don't know any other way to say it. I don't know any other way to say it, sir. Yeah, the general chat, I would not, I would not recommend. I would not recommend. There's some rather unsavory types. You know, people that people that don't have outlet outlets for their anger, you know what I mean? And then they then they just go online and just let it rip at whatever the first thing they see is. It's not a good not a good way to live. It's not a good it's not a good way to live, guys. Don't spend your days in general chat complaining about things that might not even be real. What's going on? Sure thing. Command center upgrade complete. The only general chat of a game that I have ever just been like, you know, this, everybody who plays this game is pretty cool. Be like Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy 14 online. That's got to have one of the most wholesome communities of like any game I've played. But at the same time, they're also a bunch of weebs. So it's like, you know, you got to You got to you got to be a little bit careful. Otherwise, you know, you wake up and all of a sudden you got a tail and ears and some shit. And it's like, you got to just watch your step. But it's not a bad place. People are pretty nice, pretty welcoming. You don't really have like insane pol political stuff, but you'll just have people just be like, I'm patting your head. And you just, that's, that's a thing that people do in that game, apparently. On one hand, yeah, maybe it's a little weird. On the other hand, nowhere near as bad as 99% of any other public online chat room. So shout out to you guys for keeping it weird over there in Final Fantasy and not making it at least super horrible or hateful. I don't know. Never, never seen, never seen any hate speech in the Final Fantasy online space, but that's my benchmark for like those are probably the nicest people on the internet. Those are like normal people that don't go online because of social media, but like they actually do for that game, basically. More or less. I mean, he sent me two overlords. That's not bad at all. Add on finished. What's up, Why not? SCV ready. Outstanding. Armed and ready. I think one of the last times in my life that I was going through it alone, so to speak, before before Katie. I started, uh, that was like my self-help thing. I, I started playing Final Fantasy online because I knew some friends that were playing it. And I was like, all right, I just want to, you know, maybe, maybe sink my time into something and that's not going to be ridiculous or whatever. And it was actually really nice. Everybody I met playing that game was really cool. So I got to give them props. I got to give them props. Meanwhile, I can't play with my own username because people have pent up aggression from years gone by you know that's a whole it's a whole thing there's no more nathanius on the ladder guys it's just us just us and our post-apocalyptic uh 
side account names cruising through eternity a neon drenched highway well we did just beat this guy this is the guy that tried to do the neural parasite to finish the game off so let's uh let's all take a moment and remember how he likes to play lots of ravagers lots of banelings Ravager Ling Bane pretty much almost entirely, right? Almost entirely Lair Tech units. Remember? That was the conversation. So our expectation should be that he has very, very much so likely gone for the same thing as last time. And I remember that he was very aggressive with his corruptors, so I'm gonna overdo it a little. Gonna get gonna get it done and do what I gotta do. Something, something, mix the chicken with the stir fry. Whatever that song is. And I'm going to have to hit him with a Zerg I'm going to have to hit him with a Zerg NATO. But you know that he's probably got the Spire, like, right there. Like, right there in that spot. It has to be... Like, that just has to be it. I'm not teleporting and I'm not YOLOing. I'm not YOLOing into him. I feel like that's exactly what he would want. He already has units going to block that third. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He already has units going to block the third base. That's the same voice that says extra big ass fries. Hell yeah. I do like fries. He's got a lot of queens. No, I, I thought it seemed like he was pretty clearly trying to get the jump on this third. That was, that was the vibe I was catching. You gotta remember, we did absolutely clap him last game, so the expectation here, if you ask me, should kind of be that he, he will likely be a little more paranoid or fourth, uh, to be a little more forward about getting to his, uh, his other setup, right? Man, he got a full Ravager bio wave on me. But you see what I mean? Like, he's just got his whole army camping outside my base, kind of chilling and watching me. And I'm like, dog. Dog. What's going on, bro? Idiocracy. Oh, yeah, the future movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're there. I mean, I, I, mean, I, think, I think we're, we're pretty... We are there. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you know, at least in Idiocracy, the president tried to listen to the smart people, right? You know, technically, they had it better than we do. We've what, what have we devolved to? People just pointing in a circle being like, that's capitalism. And then you're like, oh, yeah, this, that, that's capitalism. And that's nobody ever talks about anything. They just everybody just keeps saying over and over again to themselves out loud. They're like, that's capitalism, baby. 
There is there is no such thing as discourse anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wild times, huh? Yes, Commander. What's going on? SCV ready. Oh, speak up. Hey, give up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tagging me back, man. That's got to be high up on his list, though. I don't know if I can take two 45-minute games against this man today, but we'll try and give him my best shot. Give him my darn tootin' best shot. I don't think there's anything I can really do here, right? GG. Let's go next. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More than half of them can't tell me what makes them the best or why someone should pick them. <laughs> yeah. No, I crushed that guy so hard earlier. I I was I was pretty certain he was gonna get a try hard against me and do some something like that. It is what it is. It is what it is. That guy only plays unranked, so it's like, what is he risking anyway? I can't feel bad about that. Getting corruptor rushed by an unranked player. Ah, uh, no, I, that's not that's not something I'm gonna lose sleep over. Got a Terran. Wow, is this the only TVT we've played today? I feel like it's. I feel like we have hardly played any. I've been live for five and a half hours. I gotta be honest with you guys. I I, I don't really remember any Terran versus Terran games that we played today on stream. I can think of a few TVZ games that stand out. I don't. I mean, we. I know we played a lot of TVP, but almost every Protoss just cheesed us. So it's like. I know that we played TVP, but they were all very short games. None of them are really memorable. We had a couple of very good TVZs, though. That mind control game's probably the one that's going to stand out the most when the guy tried to gank me in the, on the cliff and I crapped on him. That was a good game. Uh, that one, That one will stick with me today. The only games I lose that stick with me are swarm hosts because of how bad they are. I hate losing to them. But I haven't lost to Swarm Hosts in like a year, so it's been a very long time. People try. People try against me specifically because they know Swarm Hosts tilt me, but they don't win. Nobody ever beats me with Swarm Hosts. They just, they just make them because they know I don't like them. What you got, sir? What you got? Anything outside my base? No contraband to report? Proxy, factory, starport? Nay, I just started watching Rick and Morty first two episodes. Will it be this good forever? I mean, Rick and Morty is hit or miss. There's a pretty decent amount of good original content in there, but a lot of it uh, kind of 
Like, you got to keep in mind that it has some, like, pretty cringeworthy fans that push for weird stuff. Like, really heavy self-referential meme level shit. And sometimes the show will literally spend a whole episode just circle jerking itself. So it'll it'll be like, sometimes it'll be really good and sometimes it's quite bad. Some of the episodes are great. Some of them are horrible. It's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. I wouldn't expect it all to be good. Don't expect it to all be good because it's not. It's not all good. Some episode premises you're going to see and just be like, yeah, I don't want to watch that. And that's that's okay. It's kind of like Family Guy. Maybe a better hit rate than Family Guy. But like some episodes, very funny, interesting. Some, absolute garbage. Rip. Nah, Mule died with 25 minerals in his hands. Oh, he's already fully grown his turtle shell. I was mostly just going for distance on that one. Go ahead. Oh, Fallout was so good. Fallout was amazing. Really, really, really. Probably, probably one of the best video game adaptations. I would, I would put it up top. I would put it up top. I don't really care. You guys know I don't really care about The Last of Us. It's just not, it's not something I ever really got into. But uh, Fallout was really, really good. It's the best I've seen. I think it was incredible. I think it was really incredible. Made you want to play Fallout 3? Yeah, I think I'm going to play 4 when the next-gen update comes out. I might stream that. I was thinking about it. And Katie, Katie and I started playing Fallout 76 just so we could do play that together. And that's that's okay. That's been okay. Exactly okay is how I describe it. Oh, I was like, why can't I Yamato? Then I realized I recently Yamatoed.
Well, they're doing like a free to play. If you have Amazon Prime, I'm pretty sure Amazon Prime was giving away Fallout 76. Um, that was like their free game redeem, but they're also doing a free trial for the whole thing for like a couple weeks. I don't know when the when it ends, but if you want to try it anyway, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that they're doing a big marketing push to try and get people on that game. Everyone says New Vegas is your is the best. Yeah, there's uh, you know, there's a lot of people that have different opinions out there in the world. If you ask me, I think Fallout 3 is the best, but that's because I like open-ended games. Most people who like New Vegas say so because of the game being a little more linear and easier to understand than Fallout 3. But Fallout Fallout 3 probably has the most variety and the best map. New Vegas has a really nice map, but the game the game kind of pushes you in a very specific direction. So you either like games that are a little more open-ended, and then I'd say Fallout 3, or a little more linear, and that would be New Vegas. Fallout 4 is kind of like 3, just not as good. That's about it. Obviously, 3 has the worst quality of life out of those 3, so, you know, mileage may vary sort of deal. But I'm not, uh... Yeah, there's there's some people that feel very strongly about their favorite Fallout game. Yeah, I played New Vegas. I liked it. But yeah, it's just a much more linear game. You can't go. You can't just go where you want at the start. Not not to the degree that you can in Fallout. You've depleted that mineral field. Not to the degree in Fallout Three, anyway, or Four. Must resist urge to type 14 paragraph. It's not linear just because you have to go to the strip in a certain path and you can't, you can't, just because you have to go to all these different places and every single character interaction in the game is about the man that shot you, even though <laughs> once you kill him, there's really no, nothing else you have to actually do. No. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You've mined out some of your minerals. It's okay. It's okay if you disagree with me. Again, it's it's not a big deal. You guys can open your own crazy Twitch channels where you spread your own conspiracy theories about which Fallout game is the best, you know, and Good thing you've got more of those, right? Add-ons finished. You're able to move north at the beginning? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. I've done that. But my biggest problem with Fallout New Vegas is that too much of the game's interactions with characters, like so much of the script has to do with Benny. So much of the script has to do with Benny. What if you're not like a super vengeful person either? Then it's just like, fuck man. What if, I, what if I'm strong enough of a person to just forgive him and move on with my life? It's like, no, no. This whole entire game, that's the only quest you can have, bro. That's your only quest. Nah, I can't. Oh, did you happen to prioritize dealing with him early on and then you backtrack into old areas? Sorry, bitch. Nobody's gonna have anything to talk to you about except Benny anyway. That's the worst part. That's, the, that's what kills me. That's, that is what kills me about it. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go back to this area from the beginning. I didn't see what was over here. I didn't see what was over here. Oh, all my dialogue options are, have you seen a white a man with a white <laughs> checkered suit? That's it. I don't know. It's tough. It is tough. You've depleted that mineral field. Who 
It's not up for debate. No, we're not debating it. No, that's 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 exactly what I said. You guys are free to have your own opinions. New Vegas is a great game. I'm just letting you know if you want more of a sandbox experience, Fallout 3 is kind of where it's at. That's all. It's much Fallout 3 is definitely a great great first game to play for for that reason. Fallout VR, dude, that's pretty good. I, ha I have Fallout 4 VR on Steam. It's quite nice. It's pretty tight. Where's my eBay? Enemy contact. You've exhausted that Vespine geyser. Yes, Commander. Take it. Well, geyser, use mind out some of your minerals. Command center 2.0, ready to go. Who called in the Whatever that means. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. The enemy's taking fire at your forces. Your SCVs are being liberated in the world. Your base way. is under siege. Patching you through. The add on is complete. Research is ready. Just make sure you get rid of that. That's really important to get rid of the sensor towers. Upgrade complete. It's a trap. Upgrade ready. Noise. Woohoo! Oh. Big job. Well, perhaps I deserve that. You're just being a hater if you don't like it. Well, I, I mean, just to be clear, I never said I don't like it. Just to be clear. Fallout New Vegas is a great game, by the way. If I was going to rate them... I mean, Fallout, New, Fallout Vegas is a better game. But I like the open-endedness of 3 more. Yeah, you guys weren't expecting that, huh? Yeah, you thought I was just here trying to grief you for no reason? The survival mode mechanics are also really good, which were not introduced in Fallout 3. Those were put in, in uh, Vegas, actually. Yes, Commander. You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? You've depleted that mineral field. Right. No, this is it. This is legit his plan.
No. Big job, huh? It's a trap. Cyclone receding. There's like a lot more story options to choose from ending wise for New Vegas, but Fallout 3 definitely gives you that throw you into the world with not really any direction to go in kind of vibe. And I do like that a lot. I enjoy I enjoy the lesser amount of sandboxing in that one. When people tell me they're new to the series, I try to get them to play three first. Plus, all the other games after that have better quality of life, so you're not ever gonna be as frustrated. Oh my gosh, was he not looking that whole time or what? Whoa! That's pretty great. Yeah, I got him to fly into my mines. Pin this replay up on the wall. Hey, that's cheating. But like, when you start playing New Vegas, you can't just go to the strip. That's all. If you're like, oh, it's open world, I can do whatever I want. Then, yeah, you know, that one, that one keeps a little bit of a tighter leash on you at the start. That's all. That's all. That's the only reason why I suggest three. Because if you boot up Fallout 3, you step out of the vault, you look at the map, you can go wherever the fuck you want. More or less. So, you know, there's some there's some sense of wild adventure to that. If you're not particularly miffed about rushing the main story. That's all that's all I was trying to say. Good game though. Good game. Now I'll let you know, I did, I did go straight to the strip the first time I played New Vegas. I went directly to the strip. I, I did not collect $200. I did not pass go. I went over to that mountain with the mutants and I simply snuck around. I gave them the slip, as Sean, Simon Pegg said in the hit 2000s comedy, Shaun of the Dead. I gave them the slip. And then... Naturally, I, I ran my way directly to the strip, got around those super mutants, killed Benny. Killing Benny was actually the first thing I did in the game. I went right up to him and just immediately killed him in the casino. And then the rest of the game was completely broken because the only thing anybody would talk to me about was the man in the checkered suit. So, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're a rascal like me, you might find yourself, you might find yourself unsatisfied with breaking out of the sandbox that's all i thought you said you gave him the slip <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, and that's the moment when ed turns on the pinball the jukebox right or the pinball machine and then it makes a noise yeah uh didn't even kill the powder gangers first that's what i'm saying though that's what i'm saying is that it, what it made me realize was that literally every interaction in the game is centered around the main story's plot, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But for me, that's not the kind of game that Fallout is. So, and if you play Fallout 4, it kind of goes, it's a little bit more in the direction of 3 as well, just in that you step out and there's not, I mean, you have a little more direction, but it's not quite the same. The map, the map feels a little more open from the get-go. And that's, for me, that's just a huge deal because I'm going to pick a different type of 
uh, run every time I play. If I'm going to go handguns, rifles, energy weapons, melee. If I install... At one time, I put a mod on my Fallout New Vegas. I put I put a mod. I did a Fallout New Vegas run as Batman. I got a mod that added the Batcave. Um, and I just... Yeah. I got in a bat suit. I had a special punching perk. And I just beat the shit out of everybody. All my dialogue options were replaced with I'm Batman. So... You know, that's that's kind of awesome. That's some of the fun of Fallout. That's like the magic of those games. If you want it, it's in there. Do you want to play as Cloud with the Buster Sword? I'm pretty sure that's there somewhere. Do you want to do you want to like play a multi-combined version of the game where you can go between the worlds of the games? Like, yeah. Somebody did that. It literally it's a mod. There's literally a mod that exists where you can go from Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4. They like have the map MPQs load up and shit. It's insane. People have done wild stuff with those games. Wild stuff. Um, another settlement needs your help. That is the worst part of Fallout 4 because that's when they let you start building a home. And once you start building a home, that means you start getting bitches. And once you start getting bitches, you know you need money. So, yeah. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am off for the evening. I want to give a big thanks, big shout out to everybody tuning in. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate you and your time. Thank you, Rotterdam, for the raid. And thank you, everybody watching, for helping to make this possible. I can't do it without you. I seriously mean that. God bless you. And good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, I made a fart noise drinking out of my water bottle. That's funny. I'm fully hydrated. Now you know.